On a Saturday night for Locksford, Ohio in the Steve Coach Katie Arena, it's game two of this NCHC weekend series between the Miami Red Hawks and the St. Cloud State Huskies on the ice tonight here in Oxford. Patrick Eschel alongside Luke West Pulley with you here from the Goggin. We thank you so much for joining us here this evening. And Luke, a 2-1 loss last night for the Miami Red Hawks on their home ice against the safe St. Cloud State team. Luke Jaycox scoring the game winner for the Huskies to put them up 2-1 with 25 seconds to go in the third period. That proved to be the difference last night for a Miami team that kind of gave up about halfway through that third period. And so if you're Miami Red Hawks tonight, Luke, what are you looking for in their response in game two? Well, I think that you need to start fast. I mentioned it last night in our closing. I think that the Red Hawks just really kind of eased into the game, and that was really the difference last night. They gave up a goal in that first period uh, when St. Cloud was able to get some good puck movement, got them chasing all over the ice. And I just really don't think Miami started that game very well. And, you know, by the time they got into the game, I think St. Cloud was a little bit into a better rhythm than they were, and as a result, they dropped the game last night. So I think for them, it's just to have a couple big shifts at the beginning of the game and just really set the tone and control the pace early. The St. Cloud State Huskies, their first league win of the year last night on the road. What do they have to do tonight to bring home the sweep back to Minnesota? Yeah, so uh, I think that St. Cloud, you know, while they were able to win the game yesterday, I don't think they necessarily even played their best hockey. I think Brett Larson probably wasn't, you know, 100% satisfied with how that game went yesterday. Probably made some adjustments going into tonight's game, but I really think that they just got to continue doing what they did, especially in the offensive zone uh, with just using the, utilizing the puck movement, utilizing some big shots they have on their team. We saw that yesterday. I mean, they got a lot of guys who can really fire the puck. Yep. And you know, when you get guys moving around, you get goalies moving, you got hard shots, you know, you can score a lot of goals. And I think that while they weren't able to do that yesterday, they just need to, you know, get as many chances as they can, uh, you know, early. And that'll just develop into the type of game they want to play. And, you know, hopefully for them, that means, you know, picking up a lot of goals. All right, we'll see how game two of this series goes here. The Miami starting lineup happening now. We'll listen into to the Goggin Ice Center PA. The National Anthem follows that. And then our puck drop here on this Saturday night.
Well, if that's not a little quiet to you. It's because we don't have a pep band tonight at the Goggin Ice Center. They went up to Detroit for the MAC Football Championship. The Red Hawks victorious in that. We'll talk about that during the first intermission on Bardowski, the podcast. Pretty light crowd tonight at Goggin Ice Center. St. Cloud State is going to start the man in net. They started last night, and he's going to make yet another start in his career. 3.05 goals against average, 8.86 save percentage, a 3-6 and 4 record on the year for number 34, David Redick, the 6-2-190 junior out of Slovakia, and the LA Kings draft pick. He was the first star in the game last night, and the Miami Redhawks are going to start for the second straight night. Number 36, Grant Valentine, who was the second star of last night's game, 0-1-1 on the year, 2.64 goals against average, 8.94 save percentage, making his third start of the season. Rocks made plenty of line changes after the 2-1 loss last night. Karch Bachman, Casey Gilling, and Gordy Green will be the top line again. Bachman moving from the top line uh, to the top line for the second line, rather, where he was with Nyes and Loud last night. John Sladek will join the second line for Miami on the right wing. Chase Pletsky down on the third line with Savage and Corbett. He's on the right wing. He was on the top line last night. Grant Frederick in the lineup for Miami. He replaces Bray Crowder, who is out. And also out of the lineup tonight is Noah Jordan. Christian Mose replaces him on the left wing, number 20 in white. For St. Cloud State, just one lineup change from last night. Tyler Anderson will be their extra defenseman, number eight. He is in for number two, Clark Custer. Same officiated crew as last night. It's Scott Bocall and Ed Croft, your referees. Your linesmen are Brett Golick and John Philo. So we're underway here from Goggin Ice Center tonight. The draw at center ice, and the Red Hawks win it. And cough it up in the neutral zone, try to move it up the left wing. They'll play it back behind the net. With the puck bouncing off the high glass, and Rourke Russell chased it to the far corner of the defensive zone. Got it to the blue line. St. Cloud couldn't hold it in at the left point of the offensive end, and Knox here will regroup in their own ice. Pass up the left wing from Siddharth, picked off by Nick Paling. It's turned over again at the Red Hawk line, and Bachman up the left wing over the Husky line now. Reaches the near circle for a shot in on Reddick. It makes the bread basket save 28 seconds into this first period. Yeah, and if you're the Red Hawks, that's exactly what you want to see. As you mentioned, they moved Karch Bachman up to that first line, maybe to get a little bit more in energy into their offense, and he's already brought it a little bit on that first shift. They're already going to go with a line change here, 28 seconds in, so we'll see how this one goes. They saw off to the right of David Rennick. Red Hawks pick it up in the slot, and fire to the far corner. Right on it is Easton Brodzinski on the far side for St. Cloud. Hit to the left point, Derek Gashke plays it into the near corner for the Red Hawks. Buck up in the air behind the net, Ben Lowne chases it to the far side. Looking for a backhand pass to the right point, but instead cycles it down low for Nyes again. Two on two battle there behind the net, and Sam Henches wins it for St. Cloud State. And will play this one out of the zone up the right wing, back to center. Walker will play it over the line right wing. Easton Brodzinski near circle, had it stolen away by Jack Clement. Given to Sam Henches here near half while St. Cloud State offensive zone cycles it behind the Red Hawk net for Brodzinski, who copped it up to the near corner, picking up the loose biscuit. Phil Nyes plays it back to center, up the left wing, over the line, the Husky line is John Sladek. He'll play it to the near corner and behind the net where it's picked up by Trable for St. Cloud. To the far side, Brand will chip it to Henches, who's up the left wing through neutral ice for the Huskies. Two against three rush, he'll dump it in behind the net and around to the near half wall, St. Cloud offensive zone. It was Hokeby on it there for the Huskies. To play to the near side, and it's thrown out the left wing by Chase Pletsky all the way down the ice from the defensive zone for an easy icing call here against Miami with 18-24 to go in the first. Rocks lead the shots early on, 1-0. Yeah, well, St. Cloud State team that comes into this game with an eight-game unbeaten streak against the Miami Red Hawks. They snapped a four-game losing streak last night on the year. First time they've lost four in a row since the 2014-15 season. Rocks on the defensive zone draw, dump it into the St. Cloud offensive zone. Brendan Bushy far corner, plays it to the near side. Luke Jaycox near corner with a puck. He had the game winner last night for St. Cloud. Their 2-1 win, Jaycox scored it with 25.2 seconds left on the clock. Puck back behind the Husky net. Jaycox has to reverse direction. Moving toward the near side, copped it up to the near half wall, taken over by Mose, got a shot on net off the left post on the ice. It goes back behind the Husky net now. Jay Cox leaves it for his defensive partner, Brandt. Up the right wing, it's tipped in by Yanni Cronilla for St. Cloud State. Rocks get it back to neutral ice, up the left wing, into the St. Cloud zone. The icing waved off. Nick Perfect's TD pass behind the net to the left wing. St. Cloud State will get it to the half wall, played out by Jake Wallen. And Wallen here will skate it over the center ice and dish off to Miller. Miller over the middle of the line. Perfect's top of the ear circle, a shot off a stick over the net. And Brian Hawkinson skates it out of the Red Hawks zone. 
Chipped in over the right wing by Monty Graham. Behind the net, Rennick out to play it. To the near half wall, Rennick's offensive zone. Played behind the cage by Rourke Russell to the far corner. St. Cloud State takes over there. A shot's passed though. Picked up behind the Husky net by Monty Graham. Works it back to the far side. A shot will give him a shove. Loose puck to the near corner. Picked up by the Huskies momentarily. And then Hawkinson steals it away for Purvix. It's tied up between Hawkinson State. Skates to the near corner as he is with Purvix and Bachman and Hammer joins the party there in a battle along the near corner that the Red Hawks win. Right point now, it's Frederick. Fired a long one in. It was wide on the net. Looking for a tip there, but never got it. Buck back to the far corner of the offensive zone. Rucks with a good possession here. Bachman will golf it behind the Husky net. Waiting for it, Perbix. We'll pass it up the right wing and find Will Hammer, who's up the right side and neutralized. Dumps it in at the Red Hawk line all the way around behind the net to the far half wall. Casey Gilling behind the net to the near corner. It's Rourke Russell. Chips it off high glass. Back to neutral ice. Meyer grabs it for St. Cloud State. Cross ice feed. Brodzinski fights Nick Paling. To Jack Paling with a rip there. Around the near circle. That was all in about three seconds. All that happened. He fired it wide on Valentine. Now Gilling out of the zone for Miami. Cross ice stretch pass. Bachman over the Husky line. Left wing. Reaches the circle. Centering feed blocked down by the skates of Meyer. And wraps it around to the far side where the Huskies play it here. Little rush developed the other way. It's a two on two. Over the line, Kevin Fitzgerald left wing. Feeds the near side. Paling a drive. Top of the near circle. Blockered away by Valentine to the near corner. Rox will get this one out to the center circle. Karch Bachman will chip it into the far corner. And down to chase it. The Red Hawks second line getting out there. Ben Lown up the near half. Wolf for Nice. Touch up for Clement right point. Slides to left side for Derek Dashke. Back to the far side. Clement feeds it near circle. Gordy Green, a one timer there. Well planned out. But Rennick sliding across to his right to make the save with 15.36 to go in the first period. Yeah, that was some good puck movement there by the Red Hawks as it found Green on the near side. But I think Green just put that one a little bit too close uh, towards the middle of the net as Rennick was sliding across. Rather, If he tried to put that one towards the post, he had a little bit more room, but it went right into the breadbasket of Rennick and he makes a save. So the face off in the near circle of Miami offensive zone. Phil Nyes wins it against Sam Hedges. Back to the line. Dashke is shot. The flex off bodies in front to the far corner. Picked up here by the Huskies. Brodzinski trying to glove it out to neutral ice. And Will from the far side. Jack Clement will dump it back in or try to. But it went over the high glass out of play on the right wing. And so the face off here will be at center ice with 15-22 to go in the first period. Head coach Brett Larson for the St. Cloud State Husky team is 5-0-2 against Miami in his tenure there. It's his second season with the Huskies. First Bergeron yet to pick up a career win against St. Cloud State as a head coach. Our corner Scott Corbett with a puck in the Miami offensive zone. Working there to win a battle against two St. Cloud players. Cycle behind the net for Luke Jaycox. Back up the far half wall past the outstretched stick of Jack Clement trying to keep it in. Sliding toward the right point. And it's all the way back down to the Miami end. It's behind the net. Clement will play it off the stop from Valentine. Ditches back on the back end feed. Dashke indirectly finds Plutsky at center ice to chip it in from the red line far side. Jack shot picks it up far corner. St. Cloud's zone will play it to the near half wall for Okabe, who cycles it back on the right wing for Nick Purvix. At the hash marks along the near half wall, Monty Graham tampering with him. It's going to have to force St. Cloud to regroup back in their own end. They still can't get it out, although a shot will chip it off the far boards to center, but right back in the Red Hawks' hands, and they'll play it behind the net to David Rennick. Far side, Nick Purvix. Pass to the left wing. Jack is shot. Skates it out for a cross ice feed to the right side. Oak will be over the Red Hawk line. Barely onside as Cornella was jumping ahead. Back to the near corner, and it comes up the near half wall. Andrew Sinard stops the puck, but copped it up to Cornella. Bouncing puck behind the Miami net. Cornella to the far corner. Circles it up to the left point. Waiting there a shot. Fires a wrist shot in wide on Valentine to the left. And picked up at the near half wall by Christian Mose for Miami. Reaches center ice. Backhands it into the zone. Right up to the full five-man change. Behind the Husky net. Jack a shot. Let's get it to the far corner to the right side for Meyer. Chip back to the red line. Wallen plays it off for Hammer. Got it into the Red Hawk zone, but too high. And the Red Hawks will regroup here at center ice. Healing to Green over the Husky line. Left wing. Green off the boards. Gets it right back as he kind of coughed it up there on the defense coming in from a shot. Hawks will get this one to the far corner. Casey Gilling walks it up the far half wall, backhand feed to the line. Frederick, backhander in for the middle of the blue line. Off a skate, it's kicked to the near half wall and back to center, St. Cloud plays it. Capstick for Green to the right side, Frederick trying to hit Gilling, middle of the Husky line. Instead, it missed him, and I guess no icing here as he was behind the red line. 
St. Cloud State wanted a icing call on that. Right outside of the puck, far side of the offensive zone. Frederick played it to the middle. It was blockered away. Gordy Green from the right point will wrist this one around to the near boards. Picked up there by St. Cloud State, getting it out. Micah Miller up the near side of neutralize it. Capsule will play it far side here for Dashke. Reaches the red line, chips it in off the far boards. Behind the net, David Rennick with 12.47 to go in the first. Leaves it back for Treble. Far corner now, it's Meyer to the near side for Jack Peeling. Assisted captain off the high glass all the way back to the Red Hawks. Zad too weak for an icing as Clement will pick it up behind the Miami net. Pass to the far corner, John Sladek will skate it up the right wing. St. Cloud State had three four checkers, but Sladek dodged down a pass. Eyes over the Husky line right wing. Hits the brakes far half wall. Back for Clement, a drive for the point. Slid under the pad of Reddick, who was able to stop it there. And we'll get our first media timeout of the game. 12.23 to go in period number one. Miami and St. Cloud are scoreless early on in Oxford. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Face off coming to the left of David Rennick in the St. Cloud defensive zone. Rocks will have their second line out there. Ben Loud, John Sladek, and Phil Nyes. After catching Luke West Pulley back with the air gog at Ice Center on a Saturday night. Glad you're with us on Red Hawk Radio. Nick Paling a bounce off the board to the right side. Jack Paling over the Red Hawk line. Hits the brakes top of the near circle. Walks it down to the far half wall and played it back behind the Red Hawk net. Ben Loud picks up the loose puck. It's loose in the far circle. Loud will swoop in to grab it. Reached the red line and tried to dump it in. It went off a St. Cloud glove at the Husky line. Perbix there played it. It will be a hand pass. He was trying to glove down the dump in attempt by Ben Loud. Face off here is going to be inside the Husky zone at the far circle with 12.02 to go in the first. That will be to the left of David Rennick. As Ryan Savage will take it against Fitzgerald, and it's a St. Claude win. All the way around the boards, they get it in the defensive zone. Nick Paling hit by Siddharth, coming in from the left point. It broke Siddharth's stick. He has to go to get one, so the Rocks down to four men right now temporarily. Jack Paling hits Nick Paling back in, feed through the slot in the St. Claude offensive zone, but nobody home. Back to the left point, it's played back in by the Huskies. And the Rocks will grab it here up the far circle. Rourke Russell plays it out for Corbett with a lane up the left wing over the Husky line. Corbett pushed by a shot to the near corner. He will go back toward the high of the zone area. As a backhand feed here for Russell, left point. Mark Russell tried to play it in, but off the stick of Nick Paling, all the way back to center beyond. Swooping in to grab it is Andrew Siddharth. Feeds Corbett, left wing over the Husky line. will chip it behind the St. Cloud net. Back to the near corner. St. Cloud State trying to control up the near half wall. Nick Paling, a backhander off the boards and back to center ice. Red Hawks regroup in their own end. Siddharth, left wing, neutral ice. Skates it up with room over the red line to chip it in behind the Husky net. Grabbing it there for the St. Cloud was Fitzgerald. And now the puck back up the right wing. Grant, backhand feed, trying to center it over the Red Hawk line. Picked up by Mahalik. Alec Kapsik reaches center for a backhander off the high glass. And goes back behind the Husky net. Bushy around the far half wall, though it's kept in by Bachman. Right point in the Red Hawks offensive zone. Left it there, but taken over here by Cornilla. Over the line, left wing, Cornilla centering feed. They get it to the near circle for Okabe. Our circle, Hawkinson messes with him as Okabe cut completely across the zone. 
A holler for Capstick for a corner. Picked up here Monty Graham, who can't center it out of the Red Hawks zone. Now Hedges with a puck high slot. Here's uh, Trable a drive. Big rebound off the pad of Valentine to make the save. Red Hawks pick up the rebound in the near circle. Maholic feeds Bachman on the left wing. Up through the center circle over the line. Feeds it far side for Gordy Green. Far circle with patience and room. Had a toe drag there on Trable, but the shot sticked away by Rennick. Top line out there for the Red Hawks. Casey Gilling will behind the St. Cloud net to the near side. Bladed in front. Bouncing puck clear to the near corner by Spencer Meyer. He golfs this one out to center. Jack Lament will chase after it, but it will be no icing. It deflected off a Red Hawk stick, middle of the ice. Back to the near corner, Hammer plays it behind the net. St. Cloud State works it to the far side. Buck loose in the circle, and the Huskies pick it up far half wall. Brodzinski to the far corner. Jack Lament trying to get it out of his offensive zone for Miami. Gave it off for Derek Dashke, and up the far side, Kareem can't get it out either. So Clement will play it to the near side for Dashke. They reverse the play. Bachman tried to chip it out of the zone, but he blocked his own attempt. Along the near half wall, Bachman gets the puck back on a feed from Dashke and plays it up the left wing over the Husky line. But it'll be an icing here as Cordy Green was in the middle of the ice. And Bachman passed it to him along the near side, but out of the reach of Green and icing on Miami with 9.15 to go in the first. Yeah, and Bachman had Green breaking and he just waited a second too long and didn't really have a good angle for a bank pass. Just tried to ring this one around the boards and it was too far for Green. He lost the race and now the Red Hawks can't change. His top line has been out there for a little bit, so got at least a minute. Face off to the left of Valentine, went it back to the left point of Sean. High slot, Nick Paling, a shot, it got deflected and they score. Well, Nick Paling will be on the score sheet yet again. The assistant captain may be credited for that goal that was definitely redirected in front. He had the shot from the very high slot, kind of on the left wing of the St. Cloud offensive zone. It deflected off something between the hash marks past the outstretched left pad of Grant Valentine inside the left post on the ice. They clawed one Miami nothing, 9-10 to go in the first. Yeah, and like I mentioned, I think the Red Hawks just kind of fell asleep on that faceoff. Those guys have been out there uh, for a good chunk of time and left St. Cloud with a wide open shot lane. Shot got tipped by somebody, but ends up in the back of the Red Hawks net. So a St. Cloud goal here coming middle of the way through the first period to lead up one nothing Red Hawks leading the shots battle 4-3 Huskies get it back deep to the offensive zone far corner Russell a backhand feed to the far side Ben Loud reaches center to dump it in deep into the Husky end Bill Nice chases after it far corner lays a hit on Jay Cox Loud joins the party too to try to win this battle Nice gets it out for Miami St. Claude a backhand feed blocked down on the clearing attempt by Frederick Throws it toward the slot, loose puck picked up by Nice. Skates it back to the line, indirectly off the half wall, the near half wall to the near circle, but Slatic could get that indirect pass. St. Cloud State trying to play this one out from their own line. Jaycox will have to regroup and give it back behind the net for Bushy. Long stretch pass for Cronulla at the Miami line, but he copped it up and corbed over the Husky line left wing. Reaches the circle with numbers, they score! Chase Plutsky was waiting in front for a tip. He got it on the backhand past the right pad of David Reddick. A beautiful centering feed for the near circle by Scott Corbett. And Chase Plutsky, the freshman on the third line tonight with his fourth goal here. We're tied at one, 8 0 to go in the first period. Yeah, this all starts. The Red Hawks have a pretty good on-man rush coming up the ice. They got a three on two, and then Yami Cronilla blows a tire on the back side when he's trying to cover the rush. This opens it up to a three on one and a lot of ice for the Red Hawks to work with. And they go with a backdoor pass. And Chase Pletsky picks up his fourth of the year. And more importantly for the team, the Red Hawks respond really quickly to that St. Cloud goal. So good news there for Miami is the St. Cloud State Huskies. And Miami Red Hawks tied now at a one. St. Cloud gets it deep into the offensive zone. Grant Valentine behind his net to play it. Back to the near side for Anderson Arr, the back behind the net here for Mahalik. Off the high glass, the third line still out there. Pletsky grabs it, far wing at the red line, will dump it into the St. Cloud zone. Scott Corbett, far corner, and squirts up the near half wall. He lost control, pass Mahalik, who pitched in for the right point. Okabee cops it up in front of him, and it's picked up by Sinar, far half wall, Miami defensive end. He got it back to center, but went right on the stick of Andre Trable. He gets it right wing for Meyer, and they're over the Red Hawk line now. Waleen will play it behind the Miami net in a St. Cloud offensive zone. Mahalik was 
Tied up for a second, he lost the puck near corner. Now back to the line of Sean. Fired a wrister off the stick of Valentine to the far corner. Back behind the net, Hammer to the near corner for Wallin. Bouncing puck, he's trying to calm it down. Sonard a cross check to his back. And Meyer will get it up to the right point for Perfect. St. Cloud keeps it in. Left side is Sean, played it from the line behind the net. Picking up there on the near side was Wallin. It's the fourth line out there now for St. Cloud. Red Hawks will work this one out to center ice. Christian Mose. Play this one over the line on the left wing behind the Husky net. Rocks will get a five-man change here. Nick Pervix will stop it behind the St. Cloud net. The Huskies change it a little bit too. They'll regroup. Pervix backhand feed to the far corner of Sean. Up to center ice. It's chipped into the zone by Easton Brodzinski. Down the left wing, St. Cloud trying to play in the offensive zone. But Dashke winning a race there against Walker. And Huskies will keep it in on a clearing attempt to the right point. Meyer back down the near corner. Hedges gloves down the puck. He's up the near half wall for St. Cloud, staying in the offensive zone. Sam Hedges spin around play to get it back behind the net. Picking it up, Walker feeds the left point. It's over to the right side now for Meyer. Plays it to the near corner. Casey Gilling on it before Miami behind the net. And now a two-on-two -two battle. Hedges and Brodzinski in there, and St. Cloud emerges with a puck. Brodzinski hits the brakes near corner, back down behind the net. Clement pitching him against the boards. Brodzinski here up the near wing. Backhand feed to the middle, picked off by Green. He's going to try to win a race with Trable and Will up the right wing over the line. He's got Bachman. Two on one the other way. Bachman in front of the net. And he couldn't quite get a shot off there. There's a puck bouncing all over his stick. He was able to get it off the left pad of Redick, but not really a great A scoring chance for Miami. A good win by Gordy Green to generate that on the far wing for the Red Hawks in the defensive zone. Puck back to the Husky end. Jay Cox on the right wing will skate this one. They cut to the circle and neutralize over the Red Hawk line, left wing. There's a shot off a stick and out of play. Far circle the offensive zone. And we're going to face it off here coming up inside the Miami end with 5.29 to go in the first period. Well, Red Hawks tie it at one with Chase Pletsky's goal. And we're tied at one here in Oxford. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Face off here coming to the right of Grant Valentine, the Miami defensive zone with 5.29 to go in the first period. St. Cloud State of Miami are tied at one. There's a puck here, one defensively in the far circle by the Red Hawks. They will work it out the left wing and for an icing call here, Ben Lown trying to feed Sladek a stretch pass. Waiting at the Husky line instead of missed him. It's been a problem here, Luke, in these past couple games. The stretch pass is not working for Miami. Yeah, they've really tried to stretch the ice out and just play the game on the rush because they do have a lot of speed, especially on that top line. But when you miss those stretch passes, the faceoff comes all the way back down for an icing and you can't change, which is how we saw St. Cloud score their first goal. And that's been definitely a problem for the Red Hawks in the last few games. St. Cloud wins a draw in the offensive zone. Brodzinski plays it to the far circle. Henches to the line. Perbix fan on the wrist shot there in the very high slot. Back behind the net. Mahalik will grab it. Play to the far corner where it's gloved down by Siddard. He'll reverse the direction and go up to the right wing for Lau. Reaches center ice, gave it off for Sladek, dumps it in over the Husky line. Play to the near corner by Pervix, trying to get it out. Red Hawks with a strong fork check, but St. Claude works it up the right wing into center. Sladek picks off a pass of the circle from Henches. Huskies will get this one back at center ice, and then the Red Hawks regroup at, the, at their own line. It's now Sladek over the Husky line left wing. Circles back in the near circle, back down to the corner. He's with Perbix. 
Goes behind the net for Savage, who skates it to the far corner for Miami. Savage shoved off by Ashan, plays it back behind the net. Scott Corbett, far corner for the Red Hawks. Working it up the far half wall, a backhand feed behind the net, but it missed everybody there, and so Ashan picks it up for St. Cloud State. And we're going to get a penalty here coming up as Corbett with a late hit on Ashan, who played it back to the far half wall. Of the St. Cloud offensive zone. Scott Corbett picks up a minor here. And Russ will go shorthanded with 4.19 to go in the first period. St. Cloud State and Miami are tied at one. Still don't know really what the call is. And we'll get a charging minor here coming to Scott Corbett. As I believe we have media timeout here, but the uh, minor officials. And that's signaled for that yet. Now the referees do. 4.18 to go in the first. Red Hawks will be shorthanded when we return. Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Faceoff coming back to the left wing of the St. Cloud offensive zone to the right of Grant Valentine. And it comes here with 4.19 to go in the first period. The charging minor to Scott Corbett. And the first power play here for the St. Cloud State Huskies will arrive. And the power play this year, 20%, tied for 21st in the nation. Last night, St. Cloud 0 for 4 on the power play. And this is their first attempt of this Saturday game here this weekend. Rex won the defensive zone draw, got it back behind the Husky Nets, got Perbic to the right wing, to Cornilla, chipped it in over the line, off the skate of Brant at the flex of the far half wall of the St. Claude offensive zone. Rex trying to golf it back out, but it's kept in at the left point by the Huskies, play it back to the near half wall. Derek Tashke up the near boards, got it to Brian Hawkins in, Monty Graham pitched in, and St. Claude will take it back along the near side. Perbic's right point, feeds it to a give and go with Crable left side, back to the near wing, St. Cloud stay work it to the line again. Perfect skates it across to the left wing. Dishes back to the corner and was down low there for Walker. Perfect's giving a go with Walker near circle. Cornella, he missed time to one time attempt there. Swung his stick a little bit too late. And the puck trickles in on Valentine, who makes the cover with 3.28 to go in the first. 110 to go in the power play. Yeah, this is exactly what we saw from St. Cloud on the power play yesterday. Just passing back and forth and back and forth until they can draw on a Red Hawks player. Then they go with the cross ice pass. And the one timer didn't work there, but. I'd imagine they're going to continue to do that as the lane was definitely there for Cronilla. Queen went to the right point, a shot, feeds it back to the right wing, Hedges goes to the high slot, and a shot there deflected off one of the sticks, one of the many sticks in front of the net and out of play. It's one of the things that St. Cloud State did pretty well last night, Luke. They got a good net front presence in the offensive zone, and that was one of the reasons why they were able to get a couple past Valentine last night. Absolutely. They had a lot of tips in front of the net with you know, good shots and screens in front of Valentine. You really make it difficult on him to make those saves. Jack is shot with a puck left point of the St. Claude offensive zone after another face-off win. Slides it to the right point. Hedges, far circle now. St. Claude works it. It was Miller there who had it. Now it is played wide of the net here. Off the stick of a shot. And St. Claude stay back with it left point. A shot has it. Plays it off the far half wall past Meyer. And Russell a backhander back to center ice for Miami. Gets a clear. They're only going to be able to change one man, though. 30 to go on the power play. Hedges over the Red Hawk line, right wing. Goes behind the net, plays it far corner. Jack is shot on the puck. Back for Hedges to the left side for Meyer. Back down low. Played by Hedges, a shot in front of the net. Off the skate of Siddard, kicked it to the near half wall. And he'll regain control of the puck and play it off high glass and out with 13 to go on the Corbett minor. Reddick will stop it behind the St. Cloud net. Up the near boards, Hedges. Plays it to the near corner for Meyer. Back behind the net to Luke Jaycock to the far corner. Cross ice feed, Hedges. 
Made it out to the center circle over the Red Hawk line right wing for Afina Brodzinski. Cross ice pass across, picked up by Bushy as the Red Hawks return to full strength. And we're back to five on five. Nick Paling in the far corner for the Huskies. Plays it up the far boards for Brodzinski. Went off a skate to the far circle. It's picked up here by Phil Nice. Needs a left wing for Corbett over the Red Hawk line. He'll chip it to the near circle. It goes off the high glass here from St. Cloud State, trying to get it out of the defensive zone. Brodzinski on the second effort will do that. And the Rocks here regain control at center ice. Well, St. Cloud State plays it right back down the right wing at neutral ice after the Red teams kind of trade possession of the puck there. Our half ball, Kurtz popping for Miami. Can't get it out. Jack Paling plays it around the boards from the left point to the near side for Fitzgerald. Backhand feed behind the goal line for Miller near corner. Plays it back behind the net for Jack Paling. Walks it to the far side. Savage tampering with him. Back to the left point of Sean. A shot in, deflected off, escape behind the net. As Jack Paling picks it up near circle, a spin around shot there. Went off his stick immediately. 1.15 to go in the first. St. Cloud State, good offensive zone possession here. Fitzgerald, right point, perfect, slides it to the left point of Sean. Near circle, Fitzgerald, a shot off his own man, shin guard in front. That was Miller. St. Cloud State, high slot again, a shot. Cuts to the far circle, tripped up, pass to the middle. Picked up by Tashke, there's no call there. He'll clear it back to center. Red Hawks will change all five men, but St. Cloud back on the line again. Fitzgerald to rip near circle, patted away by Ballantyne. Okabee far corner of the St. Cloud offensive zone, walks it up the far half wall. Back to the far side for Pervix in a far circle. A shot in deflected off the skate to the far side. As it is Mahalik will play it up the wing for Gilling. Now Green and Rush the other way. Two on one. He's got Bachman. Green far circle. Toe drag shot. Rebound. Can't be picked up. Green was behind the net when that squirted off the pad of Reddick. And St. Cloud clears it all the way back to the Red Hawks head. Mahalik to the far corner. Russell backhand feed to center right on the St. Cloud stick of Treble. Plays it back behind the net on Valentine actually. Who clubbed it down and threw it behind his cage. Russell up the right wing for Miami. Cross ice feed for Green over the Husky line with 10 seconds left. Feeds it back. Russell a try. Rebound in front. And Rennick able to make the save on Gilling. The puck's still loose. Rennick able to cover it though on the left post. There's a nice drop pass there. Work Russell a drive from the high slot on the rush. Casey Gilling tried to come in for the rebound, but there really wasn't one as St. Cloud stayed at bodies on the ice where the puck was. Four seconds to go in the first. Yeah, and the referees let that one. The clock ticked down a couple seconds. So it gets down to four, covered it up with a, Rennick covered it up with about seven, but they're not gonna, Red Hawks aren't gonna pull the goalie here. He saw a for St. Cloud to get up behind their net, and that will just run down the time here in period number one. First period where each team scored a goal, the Red Hawks lead the shots by a 9-6 margin. Both teams kind of picked off, picked up from where they left off in yesterday's game. St. Cloud State scoring the first goal of the period. That came from Nick Paling, assisted by Jack Ashawn and Kevin Fitzgerald at 10.50 of the first. Chase Pletsky had the tally for the Red Hawks from Corbett and Russell at 11.52 of the first. And that's where we are so far here tonight. Tied at one at the first intermission. Luke West pulling I back with Bardowski in the podcast here at intermission number one. That's in a few moments. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Back here in the first intermission for our second ever now recording. <laughs> uh, live here in the intermission of Barnowski, the podcast with Patty and Luke. Here it's Miami and St. Cloud State tied 1-1. Uh, 
after 20 minutes in an NCHC battle. St. Cloud, Patrick, took this one last night. We're just going to jump right into things here. How do you think Miami played in the first period? Luke, I think Miami was a lot better on the rush in that first period here, the Saturday game. We saw a lot of two-on-one opportunities. And really from that top line, Gordon Green and Karch Bachman, who were able to use their speed to jump on the rush a lot, get a turnover high in the St. Cloud offensive zone, and bring it up ice for the Red Hawks. You know, I think they, like I mentioned at the end of the period, they picked up right where they left off last night. I think they ended the game with a little bit of momentum last night. But, you know, for this Miami team, Luke, it's about finding more effort in all facets of the game. I think last night they really didn't show 100%, and that was really what caused the loss. So I, I feel like we're seeing a little bit more effort. We're still not 100% of the way there. But uh, I really like so far, Luke, the strength of this Miami team so far tonight is the a game on the rush and producing offensive opportunity. I feel like they've had some good zone type possessions too in the offensive zone tonight. And on the flip side, St. Cloud has already generated some chances, as we mentioned yesterday, uh, you know, in puck movement and things like that. Mm -hmm. So for the Red Hawks, how do you, you know, work to cover that and not just chase the puck around in circles, which is, you know, exactly what the Huskies want you to do right now and exactly what they are getting you to do right now, especially on that penalty kill. Well, I think the first thing Miami needs to do, Luke, is stop the St. Cloud breakout, which has been very efficient tonight. They're able to work it out just like that. They've coughed it up a few times at their line, but I feel like St. Cloud breaking the puck out very well. I feel like that's step one to stop the St. Cloud momentum. But St. Cloud has always been a very good puck possession team in the offensive zone. And for the Miami Red Hawks, to stop that, you just got to be disciplined on defense, play your position, win the puck battles along the boards, which they have not been able to do very well in any zone tonight. Uh, the defense has copped up the puck a lot in the corners of the Miami defensive zone. I think the other thing you got to do is get in the passing lanes and get in the shooting lanes. The block shots tonight uh, for Miami just, you know, they haven't been able to block a lot of shots over the past few weekends, what I've, what I've you know, seen. And you got to get in those lanes. You got to block passes. You got to block shots. You got to block that St. Cloud puck movement. That's what makes them so lethal because they move the puck around so fast, you can't even watch it with your head, let alone defend it. So I think for Miami, you just got to find a, a better way to be more disciplined in your position playing and obviously get in the, the passage shooting lanes of the defensive zone. So going back to what you said a little bit earlier, you mentioned Miami and their transition game and, you know, on the rush, uh, how they're generating a lot of scoring opportunities for themselves now. How do they take the next step and start finishing off on those opportunities as you know they had many of those opportunities in the first period only came out with one goal and obviously they're going to need a few more if they want to win this game so how are they going to do that moving forward well, i think one of the problems last night luke was in have a very good net presence in the offensive zone so i think you got to have a good net front presence on the rush and and what the the issue is luke is that you know gordy green will come down the right wing fire a wrist shot on net there's a big rebound but there's nobody there to grab the rebound that's how you finish it off on those second efforts especially against a very talented goalie and a future NHL goalie and David Rennick. So uh, to me, Luke, that's how you do it. You got to have more guys join the rush, more guys join the play. You got to have defensemen going deep in the zone, trying to get these offensive chances. Guys just jumping in, being the trailer guy, being the F3 high in the zone there. And uh, they're, they're, they're getting the opportunity on the rebound, the second chances, but nobody's there to grab the second chance and make it a second chance. So you got to get the rebounds, have a stronger net front presence in the offensive zone. Even when the Rocks have had possession in the offensive zone tonight, Luke, and are working the puck around, uh, they still haven't had a, a guy in front of the net, a strong net front presence tonight. So to me, Luke, I, I think that's another adjustment that they've got to make here after the first 20. All right, so I'm going to switch gears a little bit to Miami football. All right. And earlier today, they defeated Central Michigan Chippewas in the MAC championship game. Yep. And obviously a huge game for the Red Hawks and a huge win for a team that's, you know, faced a lot of adversity, you know, not necessarily this year but a lot of adversity in the years leading up to this questions around you know the head coaching position of you know if that was going to stay with you know coach martin going into this year and uh, david taylor elects to keep coach martin this year and now they're on top of the mac for football so just what have you seen from the red hawks this season what's changed for them that's just allowed them to uh, have this type of success i think they've started to believe in themselves luke and uh you and i called most of the football games this year uh you know I feel like after UC, I feel like after Ohio State, this football team really doubted their ability. I feel like after that embarrassing loss in Columbus, they were like, man, we're just not a good football team right now. And and they began, I think, when the MAC play started to realize, hey, we're a decent MAC football team. We can win conference games. And so to me, when it really turned around was that Buffalo game. And I don't remember if we called that or not, but that was when Jalen Bester really lit up the running uh, yards for my the rush yards for Miami. That's when he really 
began to get the ball a lot and rushed it upfield. I think he's one of the players of the year along with Sam Sloman. The team rallied around Sam Sloman this year. I think that was huge. I think, uh, you know, Brett Gabbert was huge this year. But I think, Luke, the, the biggest thing was this team believed in their ability and believed in what they could do. And, you know, when, when you have that kind of self-confidence in your group, that really helps you develop uh, a, a sense of, un, you know, you think you're unstoppable on the field, basically. So, you know, I, I think that was the, the biggest thing for Miami this year on and the gridiron. And, hey, they believed all the way through in the MAC championship today and ended up winning it, even though there was some adversity against Central Michigan. So I think, Luca, that was the biggest thing. Chuck Martin did something, and they were able to believe. And you mentioned the, the coaching, whatever, the, the rumors, whatever that was surrounding. Obviously, he signed an extension a little bit of time ago. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like Chuck Martin's job is is pretty safe now, Luke, and I, I wouldn't even be surprised if, if he starts looking at other opportunities above Miami because this is a guy that it, it took him, what, six or seven years, but he's turned his program around now. It's at the top of the conference now, and uh, a guy that uh, the Miami Athletic Department really trusted a lot and believed in to keep him around this long, and he finally showed them, uh, you know, this afternoon what, what he's capable of doing as head coach. So one last thing here about the Red Hawks football team. You know, you just came off one of your biggest wins probably in recent memory of your program. And, you know, when you date back to all the teams these guys have played on, you know, some of these seniors and red shirts and things like that, you know, they've only played on the last four or five teams. Right. Teams that really haven't had a whole lot of success like this, but their season's not over. So how do you move on from a win like this and, you know, having everyone be this excited about your team, having yourselves be this excited about your team, and what you've already accomplished this season, but also move on from this win and realize it's not over and you still have another job to take care of if you really want to make this season the most successful it can be. Well, you obviously don't know your opponent for a bowl game yet, and I feel like Lucas pretty much a guarantee that Miami gets a bowl game at this point in the year with nine wins on the season, uh, or eight wins, rather, on the season. You know, I, I feel like you just got to carry that momentum week to week like they did all year long. And, it, you know, they believed in themselves. They believe in themselves now. They have the highest level of self-confidence at this point in the year than they've had at any point in this season. So I think for me, Luke, that's the biggest thing. You just got to carry that momentum in. And you can't have the attitude that it's over yet. You've got to be hungry. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like if they carry that hunger over to whatever bowl game they end up in, carry the momentum for the MAC championship game, continue that belief that they know they're a good football team, they'll be just fine. Whoever they play in any bowl game that they end up in, who knows where it's going to be, who knows what the name or sponsor is going to be this year. But uh, I think this team will be just fine. They continue to believe and don't have the attitude that it's over now. Absolutely. And uh, just one final thing for you. I said one final thing on that last one, but I <laughs> wanted to add in one more. Uh, I wanted to know your guess on how many uh, field goals Sam Sloman's going to make in the bowl game. He made four today. Yep. He's been fantastic all season. We talked about him all the time during football. Certainly. Chuck Martin, you know, I was watching the ESPN broadcast today, and Chuck Martin said in their production meeting that Sam Sloman should have been the player of the year in the MAC. Um, you know, they said half joking, but half serious. I mean, he's just been great. Yeah. He won he had four field goals today. He was the player of the game in the MAC championship. He's been a huge part of the Red Hawks. How many field goals will he make in the bowl game? You think? Luke, I'll go out on a limb here. I'll say five because to five. me, to me, the offense today really didn't move the ball as efficiently as I think they would have liked, and they had to rely on Sam Solomon a lot today to put points on the board. I feel like you're going to have a stronger opponent in a bowl game. And so you got to rely on Sam Sloman even more. So, uh, you know, I'm going to go five for him. I, th I think uh, his, it'll be the very last college football game he plays as a senior. And, uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll go all out for him. And I think he'll go all out for himself. So I'll go with five. What about you? I think that's a that's a pretty good estimate. I think four <laughs> or five be pretty good as you well. you got to pick one number. Let's go four. Okay. I'm not as aggressive as you are. Okay. All right. Well, you heard it here first. Patty G, five field goals for Sam <laughs> Sloman in the bowl game, maybe trying to impress some NHL scouts, get some training camp looks for next season, and uh, hopefully, more importantly, more affecting in our lives, win Miami a bowl game. <laughs> so uh, we'll see where they're placed. Miami football's MAC champions. We're very excited for them, very excited to see where they will be placed on bowl selection day. And that's going to do it here for this episode of Vardansky, the podcast in the first intermission with Patty and Luke. Miami and St. Cloud State tied at one in the first intermission after 20 minutes. We'll give you the next 20 in just about four minutes. Stay with us here. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
Winding down the clock here in intermission number one, Miami at St. Cloud tied at one. As we begin the second period from Oxford. Patrick Eschen, Luke West Pulley back with you here on Red Hawk Radio. Miami leading the shots by a margin of 9-6 after that first period. As we're set ready to go here from Oxford. Red Hawks moving left to right across your radio here in period number two and a false start on the center ice draw. As Casey Gilling was about to square off with Kevin Fitzgerald and for some reason the linesman will take it back here and do it over again. Jack Sean will get it for St. Cloud State. They win the offensive zone try here. And the Huskies will get it behind the Miami net. Andrew Siddhar to the far wing. Nick Paling will go back down to the near corner for Fitzgerald. And up their left wing now is Karch Bachman who chips it over the Husky line left side. Chip back out by Pervix. in a lane up the right wing here for Jack Paling. Hits the circle in the offensive zone. Back to the near side. A pass far side for Fitzgerald. Played off the half wall back behind the net. Buck wraps it around the near boards. Jack Sean. To the near side for Gordy Green. He gets shoved up against the near boards by Nick Paling. It goes behind the net here for Rourke Russell. Is up the left wing far side for the Red Hawks defensive zone. Gets the nine iron out and chips it all the way down the ice. It'll be an icing here against Miami. As a Sean and Green were racing down the other way. But they weren't to the puck fast enough as it went over the goal line. That comes 44 seconds into the second period. in a tie game at one. Shots are still in favor of the Red Hawks, 9-6. Casey Gillick squares off with Brodzinski, a draw to the left of Valentine. Squirts to the far half wall and back down to the far corner. Casey Gillick, a backhand feed right for the Miami net. They did that three times last night. That's got to stop. They can't just shoot it right in front of the Miami net. They say Claude is shot from the near circle, Brodzinski. That's that move, Casey Gillick in the far corner of the defensive zone. A blind backhand pass right in front of the cage for Gordy Green. Yeah, and those low zone turnovers can prove pretty costly, and they haven't yet. But yeah, we saw it a couple times last night that forced some St. Cloud scoring chances, and so that's definitely a problem that the Red Hawks need to address moving forward. Exactly a minute in here to this period, Rocks will get it out of the zone up the right wing after the draw to the right of Valentine. Sladek over the Husky line, right wing cross ice feed went behind Dashke trailing down the left side. Huskies work it back up the right wing through neutral ice. Brodzinski dances over the line. It's kept in here. High slot is shot there from Trable. After a feed from the right wing by Walker. Went into the bread basket of Grant Valentine. Who has now stopped six of seven St. Cloud shots on the night. 18.43 to go in the second. Yeah, Lane just opens up for Trable moving down the middle of the ice. Got the shot up quick, but not a great placement of the shot as it's just going to go right into the Valentine's chest. Face off comes to his right. Ryan Savage and Cronilla. It's one back by St. Cloud. Okelby feeds the right side. Jaycox had a lane to the net, but the pass went off his skate too far in front of him for a shot. Okelby up the near half wall for St. Cloud State. Walks it to the high slot. Corbett chips it out of the zone. Back to center. Plutsky can't grab it on the right wing. And back over the left wing comes St. Cloud. Okelby top of the near circle. Gave it back for Brand. Fired one there off the left pad of Valentine. It's back to the right point. Jaycox, wrist shot in, deflected in front. Valentine has it under his pads. They're still digging. As Owen redirected on a shot from the right point in the high slot. It went under the pads of Grant Valentine who made the cover. They'll get the stop with 18-16 left in the second. Yeah, the Huskies already out shooting the Red Hawks. 5-0 here in the second period. And they've retaken the lead in the total margin, 11-9. But Miami's already spent most of this almost two minutes of the second period in their own zone. They saw up here to the right of Grant Valentine. One back by the Huskies to the left point. Jack is Sean. Laying it down low there for Nick Paling and up the near corner and behind the net, Casey Gilling. Doesn't know what to do with the puck. Has room up the right wing for the Red Hawks. Chips it back to center for Nick Paling. Down the wing of Sean will chase it back behind the net here for St. Cloud State, their own net. And wraps it to the near boards here for Jack Paling. Paling up the left wing. Cross ice feed picked off by Green at center. Quick transition the other way. Gilling over the middle of the Husky line. Feeds the top of the near circle. Bachman to the point for Frederick of Baum. Right into the chest of David Rennick, who was down in the butterfly to make the stop. It was 17.45 to go in the second. St. Cloud has taken the lead in shots, 11 to 10 in a tie game at one. Face off here will come to Rennick's left. Early stages of the second in game two of this two game set from Oxford. Monty Graham will take the draw for Miami. He'll square off with Will Hammer. 
And a kick back here to get the faceoff win for Monty Grant. Christian Moe's near corner, Red Hawks offensive zone, takes the breaks, leads it to the far side. Clement, right point, will fire this one to the cross corner. And up the near side, Moe's will battle here with Trable along the boards for the puck. Moe's will spin away with the battle. Near circle, Hawkinson, a little shot on the ice in on Rennick, who makes the save with a glove. Scooped it up with 17.25 to go in the second. Face off here coming to his left again. Red Hawks will send Monty Graham to take it. Will Hammer again for the Huskies. Clean win for Graham to the right point. Clement walks it down the near half wall. Centering feet in front. Off a stick to the far half wall and a two on two the other way for St. Cloud. Up the right wing, a feet to the left side of Wally and in the high slot. Was trying to stick handle through, but it got coughed up off his stick. Miller, a shot from the right point, went over the net on a wrister on Valentine. Up the near boards. Red Hawks trying to get it out, but can't. Wall in near corner. Skates it up the half wall for St. Cloud State to the left point. Hits the brakes there and circles back. Shot in off the shin guard of Graham. Went up in the air and squirted it to the rear half wall from the circle. Back up Trable. Plays it. Trying to keep it in on Hawkinson who got it out momentarily. St. Cloud plays it right back in over the Red Hawk line left wing. Behind that grabbing it was Valentine. Rox get it up the right wing neutralized. Hawkinson chips it to the far half wall the offensive zone. Brodzinski there, can't play it out. Kept in by Hawkinson. Back behind the Husky net to the near boards. They wrap it around the near side as Walker pitching it there to play it deep into the St. Cloud zone. Kind of doing the opposite of what he intended to. He plays it off high glass back to center after getting the puck back. Siddharth pass to the far side. Up the left wing, Sladek. Backhand feed for Loud. Chips it over the Husky line left wing. To the far corner, the Huskies pick it up behind their net. Dangerous feed in front though. The Runnocks get a shot off. As Sladek picked up a loose puck coming down the far circle. Able to kind of slap shot it there in on Rennick. Right to his spread basket, 16-10 to go in the second. That's pretty careless puck management by St. Cloud in their defensive zone. Yeah, we already talked about how Miami didn't manage the puck super well in their zone in the first period. And there St. Cloud just lets a puck get away from them, slips out in front of the net. And just a quick shot on Rennick. But if you don't manage the puck well in the low, part of the zone, it's gonna come back to the high part and yep. you're gonna see a scoring chance a lot of the time. Jay Cox around the near wing, Jack Paling works it back to center for the Huskies and taking over here, Alec Kapsik for Miami. Pass to the near wing for Russell, finds in the very high end of the zone, Ryan Savage. Cross ice to Corbett over the Husky line, left wing, hits the brakes far, hash marks, trying to cycle it back down to the corner for Pletsky, he will do that on the second try. Comes back to the near half wall where Russell pitches it from the right point to get it to the near corner. He gets hit hard there by Jay Cox. Russell now tied up with Jay Cox near corner in a battle for the puck. Savage trying to work it free. Russell will get it in front for Pletsky. Coming to there for a second chance. Savage, who was loose in front of the net. A backhand shot off the pad of Rennick. Far side it is Russell at the left point. Cross ice V caps to right point. Shot purposely wide trying to get a deflection in front but it never hit anything. Far half wall, the puck goes the offensive zone for Miami. Russell plays it back to the right wing. As Kapsik there, right point pitched in to get it past Jack Paling for a moment. And now a pass up the ice for St. Cloud. Nick Paling chases it over the line right wing. He's got a far circle, hits the brace, waits for reinforcement to the offensive zone. Making dangles all over the Miami defense right now. And trying to play a shot in there. Went off a stick back to center from in front of the net. Jack Ashawn grabs it for the Huskies. Pass to the left wing for Nick Pervix. Over the line, Brodzinski. Coughed it up top of the near circle. Capstick in directly off the boards down the ice. The icing waved off here as Sladek was in the zone soon enough for Miami. The offensive zone. St. Cloud though works it from behind their net. Three on two the other way. Brodzinski left wing. Petted in front for Hedges, but he couldn't grab the centering feed. It went off the pads of Valentine to the near corner. Hedges works it free there. Centering pass off his skate. Back to the near circle. Pervix left point. Plays it deep in the zone and behind the Miami net. Far side, St. Cloud gets it back behind. It's Brodzinski. Backhand feet of the line, controlled by a shot. Fired it wide on the net. It went off the stick of Hedges to the far corner. Allowed first to it for Miami. Dodges a hit there from Nolan Walker. And behind the net, Frederick trying to break out. Sladek was guarded on the right wing, and Knights will chase the puck all the way back to the offensive zone to win the race. Top of the near circle, Sladek in the slot. A backhand shot. Reddick had to spread the pads out there to make the save. Miami with a quick transition play up the ice offensively generates a shot on goal. Sladek will get the offensive zone draw coming up for Miami after the break. 14.03 to go, second period. Miami and St. Cloud tied in one. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
After the timeout, the faceoff coming to the left of David Reddick with 14.03 to go in the second period. Miami and St. Cloud State are tied at one at the Gaga Knights Center tonight. And a clean win here in the defense is over St. Cloud, but they can't get up to near half. Well, Kirch Bachman kept in for a moment, and up the left wing, Jack Paling gets it out across the ice to Nick Paling, who has to regroup back in the St. Cloud offensive zone. Now to skate up the left wing, backhand feed for Perbix, skates into the center circle, chips it in over the line, right wing into the far corner for my for St. Cloud, rather. Killing picks it up there. St. Cloud, though, will get it back. They turn it over to the far half wall. A shot on left wing will fire it in from high in the zone wide on the net. Perbix kept it in right point on a backhander pass to trailing Bachman. Sinard far half wall controls the puck for Miami and skates it to center ice. Feed to the left wing, got too far ahead of Bachman. It got past his stick. The Rucks here have to regroup after an offside. St. Cloud in transition up the left wing of Sean. Over the Red Hawk line, patiently takes it to the near circle. Centering feet in front, Fitzgerald trying a one-timer but completely missed. And back to the Husky end, it's Okabee to play it at the right defensive position. Got it to the left point here for Bushy over the middle of the blue line for St. Cloud State. Red Hawks get it back and play it back behind the Husky net and around to the far half wall. It's shipped up here by Christian Mose. Hawkinson and Monty Graham join the party in a battle here on the far side of the offensive zone for Miami. Cornell and they're trying to work it free for St. Cloud. Anderson is in there too. They're extra defensemen tonight. It's tied up in the skates of Mose right now. Kicks it free right to the Huskies. And Brand will skate it up the left wing and feed it to the right side. Cornell wide open late to the net. It fires a shot. Great save by Valentine. It was down in the butterfly. He fought it off with the left shoulder on a point blank chance by Cornell. Grant Valentine, Luke, I feel like he's getting better and better with each shot he faces this season. Absolutely, Valentine stands up. He gave up a goal to Cronilla on a very similar play last night. Just stretching the ice out, as we mentioned, just going all over the place back and forth. And Valentine needing to make some key saves in both last night's game and tonight, and he's been pretty good tonight. Yep. Rocks working out of the zone up the right wing. Plutsky cross ice feed over the stick of Savage and missed him on the left wing coming down neutral ice. And an unlucky break there for Miami. They'll get an icing call against them here with 12.24 to go in the second. Face off back down the ice coming to the right of Valentine. Yeah, that's what happens when you try to stretch out the ice, right? You know, you miss one pass and it comes all the way back for an icing. This is already probably the fourth or fifth time we've seen that for the Red Hawks. Rocks with a defensive zone draw win. Dashkey behind the net. Clement wraps it around to the far half wall. Corbett grabs it here for Miami, trying to skate it up. Bond his zone up the left wing and gets it back to center. Perfect's here in a race with Dashkey. Perfect's won it, but gave it right out to the stick of Chase Pletsky, who plays it back to the Miami end with the Rocks regroup. Clement a right wing pass over the stick of Corbett, right to a Sean, plays it in from the left wing at the red line. Behind the net here for Miami as Valentine will stop it for Dashkey. Far side, Pletsky. We'll cough it up here along the zone, trying to get it out. As coming in there was Brand on the fourth check for St. Cloud. They'll have to work it to the right wing. And here comes Clement skating it up through center. Passed it off the stick of Corbett. Right wing neutralized. Behind the Husky net it goes. Rennick out of his net to stop it. He'll leave it behind here for Nick Purvix. Shoved off though by Ben Loud. Rex with a good fourth check. They steal it away. Near half ball and eyes. Cross ice feed. Sladek is shot. Blocked down before it reached the net. The far circle off the skate of Purvix. Behind the net it goes and squirts up to the left point. Sinard there to stop it for the Red Hawks and play it back down behind the Husky net. Perfix around the glass, back to the left point. Sinard the long stitch, stick there to stretch out and keep it in. As Perfix now near corner, chips it up the near half ball for St. Cloud, but the Rats keep it in. Loud, open lane to the net, down the left wing. And a backhand shot there, weak and wide on Rennick. Back to the right point, Frederick walks to the middle of the line, near circle for Nyes. Back to the high slot, fired a shot off a skate to the near corner. Sladek picks it up, will skate it to the far side behind the Husky net. Angled off the puck by Henches. Sladek went down, Nice coming in here for support as they're in a battle now along the far boards. Puck squirts free, high in the zone. Sinard comes down from the left point to play this one and punch it right back in the zone. He goes to the far corner where a shot picks it up with room for St. Cloud State. Off the high glass and back to center ice it goes. Loose puck picked up by Karch Bachman. Rex get the top line back out there. Perfect's off the four boards, neutral ice for the St. Cloud end. Didn't reach any Husky player at center. Sinard picks it up for Miami over the line on the right wing. Sinard awaits in front for Bachman in front. And what a save by Reddick as he got the left pad out there to stop it. And then Gordy Green trying to come in for a rebound was shoved down by Brodzinski. 
I don't believe we'll have a penalty here, but a nice play there by Siddharth to work the puck, cut across the ice to the right wing, fired a shot in. Rock just can't get a pass ready, committed a great save on that last play. Yeah, and I think the Red Hawks might have actually been off sides on that one too. I do too, because yeah. Bachman reached his leg out, and that's why I kind of hesitated when Siddharth took it over the line. After the far side draw, it comes right back in on Redick, who makes the cover. Speaking of offsides, we had a really long review of the game last night. The game-winning goal for St. Cloud is, it took him at least eight minutes to look at that to make sure it was onside. That goal was scored by Luke Jaycox for St. Cloud State. Puck back to the left point after an offensive zone draw win. Mahalik played it. To the far half wall where Bach picks it up, skates it behind the net, a wraparound attempt there, went to the far half wall. Really couldn't get that on net. Mahalik, far circle, fired a shot, padded away to the far corner by Rennick. Gordy Green picks up the puck as we're at the halfway point of this one tonight. Rocks and Huskies tied at one, it won't be a barn burner here from Oxford. St. Cloud staying able to work it out and up the left wing they come. Jack peeling over the line, will chip it in, but dodge the hit from Mahalik. Goes behind the Red Hawk net. Karch Bachman, the offenseman, deep in the zone, turns it over to Fitzgerald. Feed to the left wing, Meyer. Takes it down to the near circle, back behind the net. Fitzgerald will get it from Karch Bachman, who tried to pick off the pass. Up to the right point. Playing in by Bushy to the far half wall. Fitzgerald walks it up high in the zone, back to the line. He's shot there on the ice, stopped by Mahalik in front of the net. Back behind that, Jack Paley picks up the puck for St. Cloud State. Spin around shot near circle to the far corner, way wide on the net. Bushy right point, plays it back to the near side where it wraps around for Jack Peeling. Rocks here running around defensively in their own zone. Far corner, Bushy. Plays it four behind the net, Nick Paling. Reverses direction back to the far side. Russell tied him up, but his brother Jack came in to pick it up. Jack Paling off the far boards to Hammer. The cycle down low in the corner. Went off his stick to Nick Paling behind the net. We're going to penalty come up here, and it's on to be on the Red Hawks. As Jaycox will play it back at center ice for St. Cloud State. Rennick is on the bench for a six on five here to the late call. Jaycox down the wing, played it off Valentine. Red Hawks touch up in front of their own net. It's going to be a holding call here. It came from a battle behind the net. A penalty not really too obvious to us up here. And I will, s I believe they're going to take Rourke Russell here for the minor. Scott Bocall making the call. It's going to be a two-minute minor for holding on to work. Russell, St. Cloud State will head to the power play for the second time tonight when we return. 8.37 to go on the second. We're tied at one. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. After the timeout, face-off coming to the nearest circle here of the Miami defensive zone to the right of Prant Valentine. Monty Graham will score up with Brodzinski, Easton Brodzinski. Clean win for Graham, but a false start on the face-off, and he's going to be kicked out here. I guess he cheated. Brent Gallick, the linesman, stopped the play there, who dropped the puck and said, you're out to Monty Graham. So St. Cloud here with a win as Hawkinson was the center for the Red Hawks. Edges down the far half wall offensive zone. We'll play this one on a backhand feed. A weak one though, trying to go back to the right point. It was picked off by Graham and Root. Who plays this one all the way back down the ice and behind the net. Rennick will stop it for St. Cloud State. Gave it off here up the middle of the ice. Jack is Sean. Over the red line right wing. We'll play it back for Brodzinski. Power play here for the Huskies for a minute 30 left. Brent Frederick off the high glass, near side of the fence, he's only going to get a shorthanded rush. Lawn up the right wing, over the line, reaches the circle, he's got Nyes with him. Try to feed it toward the middle, Nyes came in, and we're going to get a penalty here on Miami. Nyes knocked the net off the other end of the ice and ran right into Reddick. They're not going to stop the play. St. Cloud a chance the other end down the right wing. As Ben Lowne here 
will grab the puck for the Red Hawks. I'm surprised this is on Miami because there's nothing Phil Nice can do. He was tied up going down the middle of the ice with a St. Cloud player. He ran into David Reddick, knocked the net off. It's a goaltender interference minor on Phil Nice. But he, he really couldn't control his movement there as carrying the puck down the right wing into the offensive zone, Ben Loun. Trying to center in front for Phil Nice, who was tied up with a St. Cloud player going down the middle of the ice. Ran into Reddick, really couldn't stop his progress. And they call the penalty on Phil Nice. Yeah, a little bit surprised at that one there, and also surprised that they took a little while to blow this one dead after the net got yeah. knocked about 20 feet off its borings. But St. Cloud's going to go to the five on three here, and a great opportunity for a power play that really moves the puck well. A shot to the right point here for Meyer. Back to a shot as they collapse back in the zone of the five on three. 55 seconds are left in it for St. Cloud. Etcher circles back high slot. Near circle to drive Meyer. Rebound in front of Valentine. Controlled by Clement. He corrals it back to center and beyond. A clear for Miami. Yeah, that's a big clear for the Red Hawks. Up the left wing to Rucha. Lace jack is Sean. Stick handles over the Red Hawk line on the left wing. Off the near boards. Down low for Nick Pilling. Henches with room for a shot off the near post. Holy crap, that was a shot there for Henches. Valentine didn't see it. A shot to the far circle. Nick Pilling back for a shot. High slot. Nick Pilling a drive. Valentine the save on the five. Holy close the pads. As the slap shot came down low on the far circle by Nick Pilling. 22 to go on the five on three. And St. Cloud stay trailing in the shots, 18 to 17. And yeah, they kind of just turned this into a shooting gallery here. They hit a post and had a good chance there on the last rush. And Miami really desperately needs a clear off the draw here. It is Corbett, Frederick, and Siddard out there right now for Miami. Clean win for St. Claude offensive zone. A shot on right point. Back down to the corner. A pass tipped on its way to Nick Paling. Returns to a shot on right point. Process Meyer. One timer. They score. Spencer Meyer for St. Cloud State will give the Huskies the lead. A five on three goal for the visitors from Minnesota. As a pass across the ice, Meyer, a one timer over the outstretched left pad of Grant Valentine. A bullet there will make it a two on St. Cloud lead with 6.49 to go in a second. Yeah, we already mentioned just how much the St. Cloud team likes to shoot the puck, and on a five on three with a lot of room to do so. We saw him generate a lot of chances, and finally Meyer was able to put one in the back of the net. They still get a power play here, a minute eight left on Phil Nye's goaltender interference minor. So the Rocks here are going to have to come from behind again. A chance here and found on the right wing. Cross ice green. What a save there by Reddick. Slid across and kicked it out with his left pad. Two on two the other way. Husky still on a power play. Cutting toward the middle. Cornelia. Far side feed. They get it to the right point. Pervix. Left point. Treble. Back for Pervix. Far side in the circle. 40 to go in the St. Claude power play, by the way. It's in front of the net. Walker with a shot there. Valentine to save. As the puck took a weird deflection in the far circle, went up in the air, bouncing all around. Walker came in for the shot. And Valentine able to make the save with 6.21 to go in the second. 36 seconds are left in the St. Cloud power play. It's that goaltender interference minor on Phil Nice. So Monty Graham will win the draw back in the near circle in the Red Hawks defensive zone to Andrew Siddard off high glass back to center. Stopped by Henches at the red line. He got hit hard there after giving the puck up by Monty Graham. Puck went to a shot in the St. Cloud zone up the left wing. Nick Paling plays it around behind the boards and behind the net rather. Miami net to the offensive zone. Brodzinski far half wall back down to the corner. Feeds it in front for Meyer. The bouncing puck cannot be handled. A shot keeps it in left point with 10 to go in the power play. Walks it to the near point, gives it off for Meyer. Middle of the blue line, far circle of Sean. Back for Meyer, another drive off a stick and wide. Monty Graham with it, far circle on his knees, will clear it back to center as Nyes returns to the box and will try to beat out Meyer for this puck and will in the offensive zone. Nice far corner for the Red Hawks. Meyer pitches him up, Green comes in for support as the puck now back to the near half wall for Mahalik. Fitzgerald. Will play this one up the boards. Gilling kept it in with a skate. Green right point also kept it in with a stick. And it's back to center here for the Huskies in the far corner. It's Capstick who copped it up though. St. Cloud a chance. Fitzgerald far circle trying to feed it back. But the Red Hawks there take away that attempt. It was picked up by Mahalik. Feeds Karch Bachman on the right way through neutral ice. Over the line. Goes behind the net. And up to far half of the offensive zone. Feeds a left point. Capstick a pass. 
On the other side of the blue line there for Alec Mahalik, who returns back for Capsic up the left wing neutral ice. Trying to feed it across as it was Paling, Jack Paling who picked it off and played it back in the zone for St. Cloud State. Bachman up the near boards, gets it for Gordy Green. Up to the center circle, feed to the left wing off the stick of Gilling. Plays it back ahead behind the net here. Rocks with a two on two battle in the far corner. Buck up the far boards, work Russell. Got it back for Gilling. Left point now for Bachman. Walks in with room. Fires a shot, bouncing in front. And it's still loose there. Work Russell couldn't get a stick on it. It was, it was about two feet in the air trying to get it down and caught a bouncing puck. Bachman feed to the right wing. Went back to Frederick Center Ice. As he will play this one behind the Husky net of the offensive zone. Green, far half wall, cycles it back down low, right to Bushy at St. Cloud, takes it over up the far wing. Bushy off the high glass all the way down the ice. This should be an icing on St. Cloud, and it is. With 4.04 to go in the second. And two on St. Cloud lead. Yeah, I just thought it was interesting on the last penalty kill from Miami. Andrew Sennard broke another stick. That's the second stick he's broken in this game. And St. Cloud's going to call their timeout here. All right. But when he broke it then, he wasn't able to use the stick, but actually used the stick to, uh, that was laying on the ice to uh, block a shot lane. Huh. One of the St. Cloud players just thought that was interesting. He actually did he kicked the stick a little bit, which in international play is a delay a game penalty. It is. And this is a good timeout here for St. Cloud. They're getting outshot by the Red Hawks by one here, but do have the lead. And after that icing, just want to want to give their guys a little bit of a rest. I'm leading the shots right now by a 29 margin with 4:04 to go here in the second period. Red Hawks are losing the faceoff battle 19 to 50 to St. Cloud right now. Miami still hasn't gotten a power play chance in this game either. St. Cloud one for three on the power play. As the Huskies have blocked nine shots, so have the Red Hawks in this game so far. And it's been Miami who's had six penalty minutes in the contest tonight. And St. Cloud with a one power play goal. That's the difference so far in this low scoring 2 1 game. Face off our circle, Miami offensive zone. Savage loses it to the Huskies who quickly get it out to center. Brodzinski feed to the right wing. They're cutting down the middle of the ice. A wide open lane there for Nolan Walker. Who fired a shot off a red hot stick. Savage came in there just in time to try to defend that. It goes out of play with 3.56 to go in the second. Huskies lead it 2-1 on the road late in the middle period. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Patrick Eschel, Luke West Poli back with you here on Red Hawk Radio. 3.56 to go in the second period. St. Cloud 2, Miami 1. It's not a very good crowd tonight, I'll tell you that right now. The student section is barely there. We don't have a band either because they were in Detroit for that football game. Back behind the Miami net, the defensive zone. Squirting up the near boards is Cornelia. Works it back behind the net, Brand coughed it up. Savage will skate it to the far corner, but off the stick of Okabee and St. Cloud regains control. Cornell, a far circle, walks it to the near side, a pass to Anderson, laid it behind the net, Dashke pokes it back to the near corner. Up the wing, St. Cloud comes, Okabee circles back along the near hash marks. A flip over to the far side for Luke Jaycox, plays it back to the far corner for Brand, although Dashke pitches him up. Okabee skates it up the far boards, Circles back very high slot. Now on the forehand far circle. Played it to the middle and it was picked off there by the Red Hawks. Dashke circles back far half wall and plays it to the near corner for Clement. 
Long stretch pass ahead. Anderson blocked it down at center. Played it off his own man in front of the bench. That was close to too many men, but they won't call it. Knocks down the puck in their own zone. Clement, DD pass for Dashkey. Left wing returns for Clement. Up the right wing. Pass to Savage, middle of the Husky line. will tip it into the far half wall. Anderson will pick it up to the near corner for a Sean. Looking to play it out of the zone. Finds it up the left wing. Here is uh, St. Claude Rush. Over the wing is Walker. Plays it in front one timer there. Blocked down. As Pervix now right point with a shot. Went off a body in front as well. Now he had the blocks in the second period. The strong net front presence defensively. Far corner it is Sinard. Can't get it out past Hentges. Picked up far circle. Red Hawks regain control. Mahalik returns to the far side. As it is Sinard up the left wing through neutral ice. Will play it up for Slatic who dumps it behind the Husky net. A shot wraps it around the near half wall defensive zone. Walker had his pass picked off by Sladek. Top of the near circle Miami offensive end. But it was a shot who grabbed it back. After Sladek copped it up. It's St. Cloud will play this one back to center. Work Russell feeds it up ahead. Casey Gilling over the line right wing. He's way offside. Sladek was trying to come out of the zone. He was deep in there for some reason. And about a six foot play offside there as Gilling trying to rush it over with 156 to go in the second. Yeah, I don't think Gilling saw Sladek on the other side, just got tied up deep in the zone from the last rush. And when the puck came back out and Gilling tried to go back in with it, Sladek was a mile offside. Good for Lace draw one back by the Red Hawks though. Russell chips it over the line on the left wing and back behind the net. Brendan Bushy plays it to the far half wall, picked up by Nick Paling, trying to golf it out of the zone. It goes below the goal line. Behind the net, it's Bushy. Wraps it up to the near boards for Jack Paling. Up to the right point for Casey Gilling. He will try to walk it down the half wall, copped it up for Green. Pass to the left wing, Russell. Far circle with a shot. Wide open lane there, and Rennick saw it all the way to glove it up with one and a half minutes, 90 seconds left here in period number two. Well, this is going to be the last game for a little bit for Miami as they will not play again until December 30th at Bowling Green. That'll be a 7 o'clock start up by 75 and the first time Chris Bergeron will be the head coach against his former team back in Bowling Green. Offensive zone way to the far circle. Mose plays it back to left point. Clement fired it wide on the ice from there on net. Next year will... Cough it up in the zone as St. Claude. Oh, we got a penalty coming up here. There is a bad hit along the near boards. Monty Graham had a late check as St. Claude is coming out of the zone on Jake Wallen. And Monty Graham here is going to sit. And there may be discussion on whether this is two or more. And there is. Yeah, and regardless of what this is, this is just really an undisciplined penalty for Graham to take behind the play. We've already seen him get pretty physical tonight a couple times. And this St. Cloud power play we've already seen is lethal. I mean, I mean, down in this game, not a good penalty to take at all. Brett Larson coaching some of his forwards as one of his captains comes to the official on the near side to discuss with him, and they're going to go to the monitor to review this one. Referees are going to take a look with 1.15 to go in the second. St. Cloud State was rushing it out of the zone and Graham just laid a hit along the near boards on Jake Wallen. That was late and behind the play and I really didn't see it. I kind of heard it and saw it out of the corner of my eye when I looked over there, but it seemed to be a pretty hard hit. Of course, we don't have any access to replay up here in our booth. But the referees will examine it here. And we'll see if it is a two or five. I can tell you, though, when they have reviewed penalties in the past, it's always been two so far this year in home games for Miami. Chris Bergeron on the run-off bench right now, looking pretty frustrated. He's been pacing around the bench pretty much the entire last 10 minutes of the second period. He's got his hands in his pockets now. He's kind of walking around, looks frustrated. Put his back up against the boards behind him and just kind of looked up to the ceiling for an extended period of time at one point. There's this Miami team just trying to rebuild, but it's very hard when you have a previous coaching staff's team and you bring in a new coaching staff who has a completely different philosophy and style, and they're trying to coach a, a team that was built for success for another style of play. Yeah, and you know, that's why rebuilding can take time, and especially for... Uh Head coach Chris Bergeron to establish, you know, his style of play, his style of, 
you know, players he likes to recruit, you know, the regions and things like that he likes to recruit. And so that's why, you know, it can sometimes take a, a couple of years for these teams to rebuild. But until then, Chris Bergeron's got to work with what he has. And, uh, you know, he's been, I think, frustrated at uh, many points in the game today and many points in the game yesterday with how this team has played as it's a different style than probably what they're used to playing under Rico Blasi with those, you know, dump and chase and hard four checks and things like that. And some mistakes have cost the Red Hawks goals here, and he's been a little bit frustrated as we might be getting the call here. That sets her off for the referees. They're exiting the penalty box. We'll get our call coming up from our referee, Ian Croft. <laughs> Two-minute minor for boarding. I don't know why the fans are booing because it's clearly a penalty. You should be lucky that it's not a major. Sometimes I just wonder, Luke. He's up to the right of Valentine St. Cloud back on the power play there. One for three tonight. And she on to the right wing. Got a return feed from Meyer, Meyer gets it back at the left point and plays it back behind that for Brodzinski. Left it there for Nick Paling, skates it to the far boards. Sam Hedges is there, will grab the puck for St. Cloud State and it's taken back by Paling. In front, Brodzinski, a shot fought off by Valentine. What a save. St. Cloud here will be forced back to center. Rises Lown pushed Meyer off the puck at the left point. Nick Paling fights to get it back over the line though in the offensive zone. Pass it back for Meyer, feeds it to the middle of the ice. Ashawn left it back for Henches, winds up for a slapper, immediately blocked by Dashke high in the zone. Meyer to the near corner for Brodzinski, back to the left point for Henches. Far circle waiting here is Ashawn, returns to Henches' left point. Near circle it is Meyer for Nick Paling a drive, that went off the left post. Red Hawks off the near boards, back to center. 17 seconds to go in the second. Ashawn over the line right away, past the stick of Dashke. St. Cloud State to the far corner. Hetch is behind the net. Brodzinski near side for Meyer. Back to the point for Ashawn. Five to go in the period. They return to Ashawn. Left point from Hetch's. His shot blocked by Nice. Second opportunity backhanded in. And St. Cloud State coughing it up in the near circle. Not enough time for another shot. As that ends the festivities here in period number two. A little bit of shoving in front of Valentine, but that's quickly mediated as we are through 40 minutes here in Oxford. There will be 45 seconds left. Uh, and the penalty to Monty Graham here after the second period is over. That will carry it to the third. And the Huskies lead it by a score of 2-1 here, Luke, in a second intermission. Yeah, you know, and I don't think the Red Hawks had a super strong period in the second here. I thought St. Cloud played pretty well, especially in the offensive zone, but I don't think the Red Hawks really did a whole lot, especially on the offensive side of things. It felt like they just were kind of standing around at times, and St. Cloud really punched through on uh, their opportunities. They have the lead here now in the second period, lead the shots 22 to 21. And Chris Bergeron's going to have some work to do with his team, and they're going to need to make some adjustments and put at least one goal in the net here in the third if they want to have a chance at winning this game. We will see what adjustments they will make as we have a 15 minute break until our third period begins here from Oxford. St. Cloud 2, Miami 1, our second intermission here. And it's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio.
don't sweat the technique. Technique.
Patrick Ishii, Luke West Poli back with you here to begin the third period of play between the Miami Red Hawks and the St. Cloud State Huskies. A 2-1 lead for St. Cloud State. Here to begin the final 20 minutes of play. And don't forget, St. Cloud State will have a 45 second power play to begin it. This period as Bonnie Grimm was in the box late in the second for a boarding penalty, a minor boarding penalty. So 45 seconds that carries over here that the Rocks will have to kill off at the beginning of this third period and the opening faceoff is played behind the Husky net after Red Hawks win. Huskies get this one up the right wing, over the line. Here's Hedges through the circle, coast to coast. Stone away from him there by Rourke Russell. As a St. Cloud player goes into the net, they slid into Valentine, that was Hedges. He was on the rush and just slid into Valentine. And if they call the last one on nice or sliding in the goalie, they better call this one. But I don't know what's going on. I don't think they're calling it. They're gonna move this face off wow. outside the zone. So the Rex though will push St. Cloud back to center on the draw here with 28 seconds to go on the power play. Just 17 seconds into this third period, St. Cloud two, Miami one. And a draw one by St. Cloud, but all the way back to their own end. Defenseman couldn't catch it. Behind the net here for the Huskies it is Jack Ishan. Skating up to the middle of the ice, feet to the left wing, tipped in over the line by Permix. Behind the Red Hawk net, played by Derek Dashke behind there. Walker and Brodzinski are tied up behind the cage. St. Cloud with the far half ball, pass to the right point of shot. Back to the left side, Pervix a drive. Blocked down by Clement in front. He is down on all fours, gets up. As a penalty over now, the Rocks clear it all the way back down to the St. Cloud end. Behind the net and up the right wing come the Huskies. And it's picked off at center though and an end stick pass by Sean. Mahalik grabbed it and gave it to Brodzinski who played it back to center, but the Rocks get it back again. Russell to the far side, Savage controls. Back for Russell, middle of the hash marks of the Miami zone. Off the boards, far side, Luke Jaycock circles back far side of the St. Claude end. We'll feed it to the left wing here for Hedges, tipping it to the far corner of the St. Claude offensive zone. Mark Russell, far corner, Red Hawks defensive zone, off the far half wall, missed Chase Pletsky. St. Claude gets it back at center, fires it back in. Mahal plays it far half wall, Russell out of his own end. Tipped in right wing, neutralized by Pletsky behind the Husky net. Rennick shovels it around to the near boards. Okavia centering pass for Cornell on the breakout. He copped it up at the Husky line. Pletsky fired it back in from the left wing. He got hit hard. And a five-man change here for Miami. He'll get the first line back out there on offense. Behind the Husky, net, a pass to the near wing. Jay Cox off the boards indirectly, finding it at the Miami line. Coming in is Brand, a backhand shot. Patted away there by Valentine in the near corner. St. Cloud with it back. Cornell behind the net, shoved off there by Bachman. Jumps it to the far half wall, picking it up, Gordy Green, lost control, was lost in his skates. And he shoved off the puck by Brandt. Kick forward by Cornilla to the zone. It is a shot to the near side for Pervix, it up the wing, tipped here by Jack Palin. Feeds it to the circle, Nick Paling over the line. We'll play it down to the near circle, a rip over the net, and back to the near boards. The Rocks get it out of the defensive zone. Bachman, a little give and go with Green. It came down here as Fitzgerald grabs it for St. Cloud State over the line. Love well down by Siddhartha, who wraps it around the boards behind the net. David Rennick will stop it for the Huskies. Perfect picks up the puck, pass to the near wing. St. Claude with it. Out of the zone, Fitzgerald trying to play it ahead, but it was blocked down by the Red Hawks. It goes back into the Husky zone. As Lon will skate it behind the net here for Miami. Stop and hit the brakes, go back to the far side. Backhand feed to the right point, Dashke. Walks the middle of the blue line, now on the left point. Pass to the near circle, Kapsik works it in the middle for Sladek, who chases the puck back to the near half wall off his stick. Kapsik wins a battle, plays it behind the net for Phil Nyes. Left a loose puck there for Loun, back for Nyes, back to the far point, Dashke, near point for Kapsik. A shot blocked down immediately by Nick Paling, he's right on Kapsik and a rush the other way. Nick and Jack Paling, Nick Paling right circle for Jack Paling and they score! What a play there by Nick Paling, patient in the near circle, a two on one the other way. Derek Dashke, the lone defenseman back there, as it was Nick Paling who fed it to the far circle for Jack Paling, a one-timer past the pad of Grant Valentine, St. Cloud three, Miami one. Yeah, and assistant coach Barry Schutte had some words for Alec Capstick when he got back to the bench. That whole rush was started off initially by a shot from the point right into 
a St. Cloud player. I believe that was Nick Paling. Yep. And that started the whole rush. He then actually blew a tire, and it was a two-on-one going the other way. And Nick the Jack, and the Huskies take the 3-1 lead. So at the far boards, it is Trey Bowles of Miami here. Gets in the offensive zone. They're going to have to come back for a two-goal deficit. Russell left point offensive end. Fighter wrist her in. It's loose to the crease. St. Cloud able to clear it to the near half wall. Most trips up there. Played out of the zone here by Trey Willis. Hawkinson works it around in his skates. Back up the near boards. Walker feeds it to the middle. Sam Hedges grabs it here for the Huskies over the blue line left wing. Hedges with a shot fought off by the right shoulder of Grant Valentine. Back to the near corner. Walker feeds the right point. Jaycock shot immediately blocked to the near half wall off the shin guard of Moe's. Back for Hedges here behind the net. Off for Walker and out to the left point. St. Claude works it back to the near side. Jaycox missed a DNA pass coming in from Anderson. Christian Moe's near half wall, lost control of the puck, trying to clear for the Red Hawks. And goes to the stick of Monty Graham, who will lose it to the near corner and picked up there by Russell. Far side, Mahalik cycles it back for Russell. Red Hawks behind their own net, trying to get it out as they will change here with a puck in their defensive zone. It was controlled by Russell. A TD pass for Andrew Siddharth. Up the right wing for Miami, through the red line, carrying it on the rush, over the line, fired a shot, Rennick the save, rebound to the near corner. Corbett picks it up, and he's pitched off the near half wall by Jaycox. Siddharth keeps it on the left point. Up the right side, Miller, lost it at center. Game ahead of him. Kletzky trying to feed it forward. Savage on the puck for the Red Hawks. Will fire down the left wing and behind the net as Anderson picks it up for the Huskies. Backhand feed to a man there below the line. That was Miller, but he coughed it up behind the Husky net. And up the far boards, Wallen trying to play it back behind the Husky net again as St. Cloud trying to control this one below their own goal line. They finally get it back to center. And breaking for a rush here come the Huskies the other way. Pass across out of the reach of Miller. Came off the stick there of Bushy. Buck back to the right half wall for Purvix. Played it from the top of the air circle. Pat away by Valentine to the far half wall. As Sean back down low, St. Cloud gets it to the right point. Purvix back down the right wing wall, and all the way back behind to the far corner. Pitching in there, hard to keep it deep in the zone was Kevin Fitzgerald. Return to the left point of Sean, a shot deflected off two sticks and wide of Valentine. Purvix down the near half wall will flick this one out of play. Up in the netting in the far corner, and we get a whistle here for a timeout. The St. Cloud State Huskies lead up by a score of three to one. The Paling Brothers making it a two-goal game with 14-14 to go in the third. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Fourteen is left here in period number three. St. Cloud State, the three-one lead over the Miami Red Hawks. They lead the shots, 26-22. Patrick Geshe, Luke West Pulley, back with you here in Oxford, Ohio. And the Red Hawks right now are in jeopardy. Of another long losing streak. And St. Cloud State has an opportunity here to make it a nine-game unbeaten streak against Miami. The Red Hawks fall on this one tonight. Their losing streak drops to four games. St. Cloud with the puck in the offensive zone. Left point of shot. Plays it purposely wide on a shot down low. Picked up by Dashke behind the Red Hawks net. Circles back to the near corner. Feeds for Clement behind the Miami Cage, who has room up the right wing to skate it. Feeds Bach at center ice. Chips in and over the line right wing, but it went off the stick of a shot and back over the line. And Bach had to tag up because he was offside. Jack Paling over the line right wing for St. Cloud State. Feed this one behind the net for Fitzgerald. Up the near boards, back for Purvix. Behind the net, it's played here to Jack Paling again up the left side. Purvix right point slides in. Plays it behind the goal line for Nick Paling. Went off his stick to the stick of Fitzgerald. Back to the right point, Purvix. Fired it in wide 
on the net. It was Jeff by Jeff peeling back behind the red hot cage. Rick Russell here from Miami. Long stretch pass up the left wing. Gordon Green gets it over the line. He's one against three in the zone right now. Pitched up against the near boards, and we're getting a penalty here on Okabe. Gordon Green was the only Miami player in the offensive zone after a long stretch pass. He was pitched up along the near boards by Okabe. He kind of upended Green aggressively trying to steal the puck away, and Miami will get their first power play of the game with 13-10 to go in the third period, Luke. Okabe a minor penalty here for holding. Yeah, this is a great effort by Gordy Green. He just curls up looking for more options, and when he doesn't have any, Okabe just kind of pinches him up against the boards but holds him a bit too long after the puck's gone. A big power play here for the Red Hawks as they've let this lead climb to two. And now a good chance for them to get themselves back in this game. And they don't have to be in desperation mode yet, but they'd like to definitely keep this one close. St. Cloud State clears it right off the draw, back down to the Red Hawks end. With 150 now left in the power play. Miami power play last night that was 0 for 4. As Green plays it to the far side off the stick of Gilling into the Husky zone far corner. Behind the net, Meyer. Played it up the near boards, but Gordy Green stops it there. Slides it to the left point, Dashke. Back to the far side. Here's Casey Gilling, right point. Walks it down to the circle. Back to the line, Dashke. Near circle, Green. Walks it up the near half wall for Miami. Fake the shot back down low, Savage. Left point, Dashke. Across for Gilling. Waits, shoots up high. Fought off there by Redick. Cleared on the rebound by St. Cloud, back down. Miami here, just kind of a slow change. They get all five men off the ice. Russell from behind his own net, skates it up through center, feed to the right wing over the Husky line. Here comes Mahalik, plays it behind the net for Jay Cox. Feed to the near side, played by Pletsky, up to the left point for Russell. Russell walks the line, feeds it far side, right point Mahalik, back for Russell, middle blue line, near circle Sladek. Stick handles back down low, returns up high. Russell, a little give and go there with Sladek. Back for Russell to drive. Blocked down by Nick Paling, off his leg. Beating it for Pletsky up the far wing. And now it is Sladek here with a pass to the near side. He missed it on a one-time attempt. Sladek left point, top of the near circle. Feeds it to the near side for Bachman. 30 seconds left of the power play. Russell to the right point here for Mahalik. Back for Russell, middle blue line. Near circle, Bachman a rip. It was blocked down by Bushy to the near circle. Jaycox picks it up behind the Husky net. He'll play it off the high glass and back down with 17 to go on the Miami power play. Yeah, good kill so far from St. Cloud. Really haven't allowed Miami any chances yet. Here comes Alec Maholik out of his own end. Feed to the right wing. Russell over the Husky line. Stopped at the far hash marks. Left it there for Chase Pletsky. Loses control top of the far circle. And back the other way, St. Cloud comes. Walker splits it defenseman on a breakaway. Tripped up. Got a shot on Valentine. Made the pad save. There's a penalty shot coming here for Jimmy Walker. And this is a great individual effort from Walker. He gets this and has about three Red Hawks to beat. But instead of trying to do anything with his hands, he's just going to speed straight down the middle of the ice and cause a trip for one of the Red Hawks players and a big chance now for St. Cloud to extend this lead. Jimmy Walker. Nolan Walker. Nolan sorry. Walker, I I'm apologize. Sorry, Nolan. Uh, no, I made the mistake. Nolan Walker here with a penalty shot chance from center ice. Can make it a three-point game. Over the line between the hash marks. And a wrist shot wide on Valentine. He missed it at. Missed it wide left. Went back in forehand. A little move there, but fired about two inches past the left post. And the faceoff will be in the St. Cloud offensive zone to the right of Valentine. With 11.06 to go in the third period. But like you were mentioning on that play, Luke, uh, Walker got the puck at the Husky blue line. Just booked it. Up through the middle of neutral ice, split the Red Hawks defense and went in on goal. And Miami, all they could do was hook him from behind. Yeah. Malik Maholik was the one who hooked him and got the penalty, but penalty shot there. St. Cloud miss. Rux still in a two-goal game here. Sinar down the left wing, fired a shot for the near circle offensive zone. It was low on the ice, but a glove save by Rennick with 10.55 to go here in the third period. St. Cloud three, Miami one, 29-24, your shots in favor of the Huskies. Yeah, and that last penalty shot attempt, I also wasn't super impressed though with what Walker decided to do with it. Didn't do a whole lot of misdirection or anything like that, just decided to shoot the puck, but a weird drop there. The yeah. referee dropped it behind himself, or the <laughs> linesman rather, but really didn't do any misdirection or anything like that and just kind of shot it wide, didn't have a whole lot to shoot at. Yep. Hawkins in behind the net, trying to come up the left wing for Sink, for Miami rather, but he was stripped away the offensive zone. Walker up the right wing for St. Cloud. 
over the Red Hawk line, trying to get to the offensive zone, but the Huskies had a three-man rush, and they were offside. 10.44 to go here in the third period, and the faceoff back to neutral ice on the near side. Closest to the Red Hawk blue line. Cronilla and Ben Lau. Lau with a clean win. Back for Clement, who is at the right defensive position. Skates it up the right wing and then gave it back for Dashke to zone end. Near side, Phil Nice. Chips in left wing over the Husky line. To the near corner, Lau trying to squeeze in there for the puck, but the Huskies working up to the left point where it's kept in by Dashke. Slides it across Clement. Shot blocked down and skates. And the Huskies get it back here. Cronilla over the line right wing for St. Cloud. Cuts toward the middle, a shot blocked by Dashke. Cronilla got it back into skates, but couldn't get a shot off. Back to center, the puck goes, and Sladek over the Husky line, right wing, two on two, he's got Loun. Sladek wide on the far side, played it across. Loun couldn't get the pass, he was behind it. And the puck back to the far wall, where Brand will get it up to center for Fitzgerald. Nice pass, heroes over the line, right wing. One on one, beat Russell, and Fitzgerald scores. It's just like that, St. Cloud State gets the puck from the defensive zone to the offensive zone. Fitzgerald a pass, wide open to neutral ice. Took it over the line down the right wing, beat Rourke Russell. It was flat-footed, Fitzgerald took it to the forehand, his left hand, and fired a pass, Valentine over the pad on the left side of the net to make it a 4-1 game. Yeah, it was a great move by Fitzgerald. I thought that Russell played that one pretty well coming off the bench after the Huskies stretched it out. Actually, he's got another chance here. Zero down the left wing on Gilling. Never able to get a shot off. Gilling tied him up and off. And St. Cloud behind the net. Nick Paling here. Play for the far circle. A shot in on Valentine. It makes the cover with a pad. 9.43 to go in the third period, and we'll get our timeout. St. Cloud four, Miami one. As the Red Hawks here falling behind in the third period from Oxford. It's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Faceoff coming to the right of Grant Valentine with 9.43 to go in the third period. St. Claude 4, Miami 1. And the draw will feature Will Hammer, the fourth line center for St. Claude against the Miami's third line center. That's Monty Graham. Rocks win the draw in the defensive zone, play it all the way down the ice up the right wing for an icing call here. Luke, I don't know if you could point the finger at basically anything. The Red Hawks just have been slow. They've been flat-footed tonight. And down by three goals here. St. Cloud just been a better team. Hard to watch if you're a Miami fan. Our circle, St. Cloud trying to play it in on goal. Hawk gets in up the right wing. Plays it to the middle for Grant Frederick. Up through the center circle, the defenseman on the rush. Plays it around the near boards of the offensive zone. Christian Mose grabs it for Miami. Let our circle, it's Hawk gets in. In the corner, plays it back to the left point, Sinard. Kept it in at the line, Frederick. Was copped up there as he gave it up to Wallen. And now back to the near side of neutral ice. Sinard over the line, plays it back to the near wing. Jay Cox backhand feed, Miller cross corner dump in for St. Cloud. He'll get a five man change here as Frederick back to pick it up at his own end. Pass to the near side, tipped in over the line by Corbett. To the near corner for Treble. Back up the near half wall. Brodzitski centers it for Hedges. Back for Brodzitski on the right wing over the Red Hawk line. To the middle, Hedges. Near circle, St. Cloud. Coming in, Brodzitski to pick up the loose puck. His shot blocked down by Mahalik, and the Rocks up the left wing down the other way. Corbett over the Husky line. We'll play it to the near corner. Trey will picks it up there. 
Plays it up the near boards. Brodzinski tripped up. They won't call it. Buck back to center, taken over by Miami. Mahalik back for Dashke. Circles in his own end, back toward the left wing. Right side feed now for Mahalik. Reaches the red line, cross corner up in here to the left corner. Trey ball first to it for St. Cloud. Up the near boards, Brodzinski. Can't chip it out past Dashke. He will do it on the second try, though. Gordy Green picks up a loose puck and neutralized for the Red Hawks. It feeds it back for Mahalik. Right wing feed past the benches. Bachman picks it up over the line right wing. Hits the brakes high in the zone. Back toward the middle. Now he will cut. Bachman a shot. Blocked down. Dashke a second try from the left wing. Hustled down to grab that puck. And Rennick makes a good save to hold it up with eight minutes to go in period number three. Yeah, and St. Cloud's extended his shot margin out now too. Up to 32-24 they lead. And a bit of a delay here on the draw. But Casey Gilling will square off against Fitzgerald. Top line out for Miami. Clean one of the offensive zone. Russell, a shot from the right point. Blocked down to the far corner. Casey Gilling picks it up, and he's up the far wing for Miami. Right point. Across the left side. Clement fired it in. Patted away to your corner. Gordy Green picks up the loose biscuit for the Red Hawks. Feed across the middle, but nobody home. Our side yelling back for Green for our circle. Feeds it back for Russell. And he copped it up and up the left wing now, Fitzgerald. The feed to the right wing for Nick Paley and over the line, Jack Paley got stopped there by Clement. He's had a pretty solid series. If you're looking on the bright side, Jack Clement been pretty impressed with his defensive play. He's gotten some good quality offensive chances. He and Dashke have some chemistry for Miami as a defensive pair. St. Cloud plays it behind the Miami net. Picked up there on the far side of the ice by Hammer. Back to center it goes, Okabe. Juking all around the neutral zone, skating backwards. Gave it for Bushy near side. Finds Jay Cox, he'll circle back behind the Husky net. Hits the brakes, back to the far side of the ice. Feed up the left wing, picked up by Frederick at the red line. Fires it around the glass of the near side. And back for Jake Brandt here, he will be hit by Phil Nice. Loud will play it behind the net to the far corner. Slatic and Jay Cox paddle for the puck there. Jay Cox trying to kick it free. Phil Nice came in for support. And down there as well for the St. Cloud State Huskies is Trable. Bushy back for Jay Cox up the left wing. Okabe for the Huskies. Reaches center ice and feeds it to the right wing. Cornella gave it back for Okabe near circle. Centering pass to the middle off the far boards. Loud trying to chip it out but can't. And it goes back down the far half wall where Frederick Hero played off the boards for Siddard left wing. Siddard up the ice, through neutral ice. Stripped to the puck by Brodzinski. Hedges leads a rush the other way. Over the line, left wing. Far circle, played it to the middle. Brodzinski off a high stick. Redox first to touch it behind the net. Siddard up the far boards. Monty Graham threw out to the other way. He'll lead it. Feed it to the left wing for Mose. Near circle offensive zone. A shot, they score! And that is the first goal of the year for Christian Mose. Only the second of his collegiate career came from the near circle. A wrist shot over the club side of David Rennick. And with 5.55 to go in the third period, it's a two-goal game, 4-2. The Huskies on top. Yeah, this is really a good time for the Red Hawks to get a goal. Pretty timely there. Christian Mose just with a three-on-two on the outside. Didn't really see too much of a passing lane. Toe drags around Spencer Meyer on the near side was able to put it on the far side past David Rennick. And now the Red Hawks still have a lot of time to put two goals in the net. And we'll see if that goal can maybe inject some energy into their offense. Face off one at center ice. Red Hawks play it here in their own end. Alec Capsick cross ice feed in the middle for Casey Gilling who plays it far side here for Jack is shot. Pass it to McPervix in the Husky zone zone. We'll see, yeah, Luke if I have a team getting momentum from that goal. Still, though, it's can't go back to goal game. Five and a half left in the third. It is possible. I think Paling feeds far side for a shot. They work it up the left wing. Jack Paling over the Red Hawk line, far circle. Mahalik shadows him and lays a hit. It's played around the near boards as Fitzgerald here will play it back for the Paling brothers. That was Jack. Up to the right point, a shot, fired a shot, deflected in front, and back to the near corner. Wrapped around the boards by St. Cloud to the far side. Bushy back behind the net. Play by Nick Paling. They wrap it up to the right point. Jay Cox, backhand feed deep in the zone. Controlled by Jack Paling on the left wing. Nick Paling got a feed from him. Behind the net, it is Mahalik. He grabs it from Miami and skates it out up the right point. 
The feet to the middle for Allen Caps. Nick up to the center circle and fires it into the far corner. Played here by Rennick behind the net. Bushy. Backhand feet up the near boards. Or Brodzinski over the line right wing. Gave it back for Hedges and behind the Miami net they play the puck. Our half wall, it's Corbett. Kept in though by Jake, got to the left point. Oh my God, they scored. What a shot along the near side by Hedges. As they beg your pardon, that was Trable who had the puck left point. He played it around the boards, behind the net, and right there for a slap shot. Point blank. You could snap a finger and Sam Hedges put it in over the glove side of Grant Valentine to make it a three goal game again at 5 2. Yeah, just a response from St. Cloud. This puck banks right off the boards near where the NCHC logo is on the ice and from about two feet out, Sam Henches hits the top shelf on a laser of a slap shot. And just like that, the Huskies re-extend their lead to three. Pretty unbelievable. <laughs> As the Red Ox here will work the puck up the right wing. You know, whistle coming in for a violation. It looks like a hand pass on Miami. 4.22 is left here in the third period. 5-2 to St. Cloud on top. He gave two of this series from Oxford. And it's Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Center ice draw coming out of the break. A false start. Ben Lau to center is kicked out of the draw for the Red Hawks second line, which is out there right now. He will be replaced by Phil Nice. He loses it back to the Huskies and Myers over the line left wing for St. Cloud State. Pass to the far side. They got it to the middle. Henches missed his centering pass. Went behind him in front of the Red Hawk net. St. Cloud will turn over the Red Hawks clearing attempt here. Hedges gave it off to the far boards for Miller. Redrick steals away from him, far circle, Red Hawks in, off high glass, back to center. Meyer takes it over there, feeds it right back into the Red Hawks zone from the left wing of neutral ice. Mark Russell for Miami, feeds it back to the far corner. Frederick is clearing a tap block down by Fitzgerald and a rip wide left to the net on Valentine. Russell up to left wing, neutral ice for the Red Hawks. Cross corner up into the far side, John Sladek. Let's give it behind the net for Russell, the defenseman low in the offensive zone. Plays it to the near side. Christian mows the shot. Bounced over the net. Rennick didn't know where that was. Monty Graham in a battle behind the Husky cage with Purvix. Nick Paling in there as well. Graham plays it back to the near boards for Christian Mose. Pitched up against by Nick Paling. Mose near circle of the ice. A shot. Grabs it near corner for the Huskies. Back behind the net. Purvix. Up the far boards comes St. Cloud State. Nick Paling across. Fitzgerald played it out on the ice. A shot down the right wing for Christian Mose. Picks it up for the Red Hawks off high glass back to center. A shot to the far side for Luke Jaycox. Back to the near boards. Played in by Fitzgerald on net. Valentine to the near circle. And it's Andrew Sinart. Cross ice TV feed for Alec Mahalik. Up to the center circle. Plays it cross cornered up into the left wing. Bushy behind the net for St. Cloud. Plays it far side for Miller. Bachman picks off that attempt though to get it out. Behind the net, Cordy Green with 2.40 to go on the third. Our circle, Bachman in front for Gilling, and they score. Well played one timer there, Karch Bachman fed it right front. C.C. Gilling right on the pads of Reddick, able to get it above him. And we're back to a two goal game with 2.36 to go in the third. 5-3, St. Cloud on top. Yeah, just some good cycling in the low zone there by the Red Hawks. 
And they're just gonna shift the offensive triangle all over the place and eventually find Gilling in front. He had his back to Jay Cox. And he was able to find the puck on his stick and put it past David Rennick and we're back to a two goal lead for St. Cloud once again. Now here a big shift for that top line of Miami to finish as Grant Valentine's gonna head right off here. Six on five for Miami. Another point for Gordy Green, who's the NCHD active leading scorer. He is 98 now in his career. Red Hawks with a six on five empty net. Jack Levent can't keep the puck in at the right point, and it goes all the way back down the ice and behind the Red Hawk net. Plays it to the far corner, Derek Toschke. Stick handles it through the Red Hawk zone crease. Pass to the left wing, Gordy Green over the line. Feeds Bachman, left wing now for Miami. Around the board to the far side. Gilling gave it right up to Jack Paling. He plays all the way down the ice. This will be an icing here on the Huskies with 1.56 to go in the third period. 5-3 lead for St. Cloud. An empty net for Miami faceoff coming to the left of David Reddick. That top line that produced the last goal for Miami has 42 points combined on the year for the Red Hawks. It's been that great trio of Bachman, Gilling, and Green. Really the only line the Rucks have relied on all year for offensive production, consistent offensive production. We face off point of the right point. The hit across for Russell. Back down to the circle for Sladek. Russell left point. Slides it middle of the line for Mahalik. Shot it off the pad of Paling. Back for Russell. A drive wide. Rebound came off the end boards. Rex could get a shot off. Russell left point. Walks it down for Sladek near half wall. Shot it on. Raddick patted it behind the net. Graham trying to feed it back in front. Battle here. A two on two. Battle behind the net. Push to the far corner. Nice gets it back to the right point. Mahalik slides it across left side Russell. 126 to go in the third. Mahalik far circle a drive wide from Nice. Back to the left point Russell. Down low Sladek circles back on his John. To the near corner here is Monty Graham. Back for Sladek near half wall. To the left point for Russell. Slides the far side. Here's Mahalik. Cross ice speed. Trying to go through everybody. It was tipped away. Sladek threw it in front from the near corner. Nobody home. Russell far side Mahalik. To the slot, Graham missed the pass. Back to Sladek near corner, minute left. Russell left point. Back down low for Sladek near corner. Returns to Russell for the drive. Blocked down by Nick Paling. Backhand shovel all the way down the ice. Just wide of the empty net. Mahalik's gonna have to race out to beat this icing. And he will get it. 46.4 seconds to go in the third. It's still a two goal lead for the Huskies. Yeah, and Chris Bergeron's gonna elect not to take his time out here and keep that tired St. Cloud line out there. It's the top line of Fitzgerald and Jack and Nick Paling. And the top line is gonna be partially back, is gonna be back out for the Red Hawks. A bit of a different look lining up on the faceoff is Gordy Green's gonna be on the point. And Christian Mose and Ryan Savage will play the wings. He's Gilling squaring off in the draw there with Kevin Fitzgerald in the near circle, but Gillen kicked out and Savage will take over here. He'll lose it, St. Claude off high glass, can't get it out though. Green comes in for the left point, plays it off his stick, it goes out of play. And they're gonna say the faceoff stays in the offense, his zone for Miami here to the right of Redick with 42.3 to go in the third period. Yeah, that's a big break there for St. Cloud. Just right off the draw, they're able to tip a shot out of play and get a change. Still an empty net for the Red Hawks, six on five. Clean win for Gilling, near circle. Back for Green, left point, middle line, Dashke. Catches the pass, goes far side for Gilling. They're gonna have to go, 34 seconds left. Dashke plays the near half wall for Green. It came out of the zone and a pass back to the left point for Dashke. Watching Chris Persher on the bench right now, immediately goes new, new five, new players, new six players. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was not a good decision at all by Gordy Green to try and give that one back to Dashke. He struggled to get the initial puck that came his way in the zone, and then his momentum carried him backward, and Green went right back to him. And now the Red Hawks need a quick zone entry. Russell the far side, Phil Nyes in neutral ice, played all the way back to the ice by St. Cloud. Purvix just wide left of the empty net. An icing call here on the Huskies with 22.2 seconds to go in the third period. The last home game of the 2019 calendar year for the Miami Red Hawks. And these two teams meet again January 31st and February 1st in St. Cloud at the Brooks Center. 8.07 start Friday, 7.07 Saturday. Late in the month of January, early in the month of February. Perhaps get a long break here. Next game December 30th at PG. 
When the offense is own draw, Dash keep far point. Fired a shot off a stick and wide. Bachman on his knees, chased it to the far corner, and a backhand feed for a shot behind the net. Way to far side for Fitzgerald. It's tipped out of the zone, back to center. Eight seconds to go. Dashkey center circle. Dumps it back in for one final time. It goes around to the far boards. One second, and that's it. The St. Cloud State Huskies sweep the Miami Red Hawks, and they pick up their first two NCHC wins of the season here at Oxford this weekend, beating Miami by a score of 5-3 in this Saturday night affair. They won the shots battle 35-29. The Red Hawks swept again. They drop a four-game losing streak now, and their overall record falls to 4-10-3. They are now 2-5-1-1. And the NCHC and Luke, you got to put in an effort for all 60 minutes if you expect to win hockey games, especially in this league. And they did not do that tonight. The Miami Redhawks did. Absolutely, they're really, really flat, especially in that third period. They, you know, just seemed like they were letting St. Cloud just get to them, especially after, you know, they were able to pick up some steam on the offensive side uh, of the puck. You know, every time they would get a good offensive opportunity, even after they would put pucks in the net just to give St. Cloud uh, big opportunities to respond. And, you yep. know, that's not a, not a recipe to win hockey games. Nope. So head coach Brett Larson's got to be happy with this performance of St. Cloud State. They improved to 4-6-4 overall, 2-4-0 in the NCHC this season as they will head back to St. Cloud. They still have two more weekends of play left to go as they will play Omaha next weekend at the Brooks Center for a game December 13th and 14th of that series. I guess I was wrong, that's the only series they have left as more league play continues next weekend for the Huskies. The Redux are off the next couple of weekends. Their next game December 30th at Bowling Green. Chris Bergeron's homecoming will come around New Year's for the Miami Red Hawks and the Bowling Green Falcons in their second meeting of the year. Miami not back home again until January 17th and 18th. It's a series with North Dakota. That January 17th game on national TV, a 6.30 Eastern start. The Saturday game, a 7.05 Eastern start here from Coggin. That's the next time you'll hear hockey on Red Hawk Radio. All right, so for Luke West Poli, Patrick Geshin, rest of our great Red Hawk Radio crew here from Oxford, saying so long and good night from Oxford, Ohio. St. Cloud State Huskies sweep the Miami Red Hawks this weekend and win tonight's game by a score of 5-3. to three. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you for listening. This has been a presentation of Miami Hockey on Red Hawk Radio. Have a great night.